Welcome to URL's Battle Rap Arena with Jesse Regan, Hip Hop Psycho. What's good, man? I actually got the guest of the hour with me right now, Calico. Phone situation is a little fucked up. Apologize. What up, Calico? Yeah, hey, what's good, Calico? Yo. What's, what's going on with you, man? What's poppin'? Can't call it. Nothing, man. Um, last time we seen you, uh, it it was on the stage versus Lux. I mean, I mean, how do you feel that battle went? Uh, I think it was a great battle. One of the best battles in battle rap history. Not just URL and battle rap history as a whole. I feel like it was a great battle. You know what I'm saying? And you know, a lot of shit happened that that nobody expected. You know what I'm saying? A lot of shit was able to happen that nobody expected. You know? Yeah, definitely. So, um, what what do you have like planned coming up? Like, you got anything planned coming up for this new year? Like after the you know the exposure you got of the Lux battle or whatever? Oh yeah, oh yeah. We got um, well, me, Hitman, Holla, A Verb, I think Rex. Mm, I want to say Hollow the Don and Sue Surf. Oh, and Big T. We got a we got a reality show coming and shit. And um, a reality you know, show. Sure. Yes, yes. Oh, I mean, um, what is it gonna be like? The real world? Like you guys? It's gonna be crazy, man. It's, it's something for you guys to. Expect to be great. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's a crazy show. We start filming. We start. We start filming at the beginning of the March or whatever. What channel uh, is it gonna be on? And we traveling. We traveling all over the world, man. man. It's gonna, it's it's gonna, gonna be, be on, crazy. It's gonna be epic. It's gonna be on TV or it's gonna be like a web episode. Yes, or something? yes, yes. It's gonna be no. Nah, it's gonna be on TV. Oh, okay. Yeah, this shit getting bigger than what y'all know, man. You know, what I'm saying? it's getting bigger than what people what people are thinking. You know. Mm-hmm. But yeah, we got. I got a lot of shit. I got. I'm dropping a mixtape. I don't know. It's, it's like a mixtape album. I don't even like calling it a mixtape. I'm dropping it um, in April. It's called The Entrance. So everybody waiting on that. You know, I got that coming for y'all. And uh, and I will be back in the ring. Oh, okay. That's what's up. Around you got, um, you, so you said March, April? Yeah, around April. I'm already in the contract. I I should be in the ring, uh, like, the, in the middle of April. I can't really say the opponent right now because it's, because it's confidential, you know, through the URL. So mm-hmm. just just know it's going to be huge, huge. Damn there, this battle is going to be bigger than the Lux shit, you know what I'm saying? It's going to be huge. Wow. I I mean, the way Lux took off, too, his publicity after that battle, I mean, is there animosity towards it or? Nah, man, never, man. Lux a cool dude. You know, Lux, um, you know, it's, it's nothing but love for Lux, man. I'm... I'm I'm glad to see, you know, the exposure he got off of it. You know, he's been in this shit long enough. He needed some kind of, you know what I'm saying, he needed to progress from this shit some kind of way. And that's not a shot. I'm not throwing a shot at him, you know what I'm saying, but he's been doing this mm-hmm. shit. I look at Mook, Lux, all them niggas. They've been doing this shit so long, I feel like we we gained something from it. They didn't, you know what I'm saying. I feel like yeah, I we came in and, and, and made this shit go somewhere that it had never been before, you know what I'm saying. Mm-hmm. And... They really didn't prosper from it, though. You know what I'm saying? So seeing that Mook got a a deal, you know what I'm saying, seeing Lux and all of the rap songs and all that, they deserve it. Our time will come when we get in that kind of exposure. Hopefully it'll be millions of dollars instead of just exposure. You know what I'm saying? Uh, yeah, I feel you. Um, all right. The, um, I remember when, when before the battle, I remember I was inside the building, and every um, I think Jesse <laughs> Text me and was like, "Yo, you gotta come downstairs." I went downstairs, <laughs> <laughs> and that's when I, that's when I saw Lux came into the um, into the building with the limo, um, the hearse, I should say. And I thought yeah. it was myself. I'm not even gonna lie. I thought it was hysterical. I, I thought I looked I looked at it as a joke, but then I, I heard later that you was real upset about it. Like you, I was only upset and, about I was only upset about one thing. You know, a lot of people. I hear a lot of people saying that they knew I was upset, but they don't know what I was just, uh, upset about. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. It was, it wasn't the, first of all, none of my anger was toward Lux at all. Mm-hmm. That's what, you know, I, people get confused. None of my anger was towards Lux. I don't even have no anger towards anybody now, you know what I'm saying, after everything happened. And I was, you know, and I had talks with certain people and, you know, it was a bunch of misunderstandings or whatever, and 
I was also compensated for what happened. You know what I'm saying? I, I'm, I'm not mad at anyone now. But mm -hmm. at the time, I was mad at the URL staff. You know what I'm saying? When, when you go into a battle, when you sign a contract, it's supposed to go, the battle's supposed to go with what the contract says. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? If a nigga say he going to sign a contract for a three-minute round, I don't expect a nigga to be over 3.30 at least. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. At the most, I mean. I don't, I don't expect a nigga to be over three minutes and 30 seconds. So I'm crafting these rounds for three minutes, maybe 3.15, you know what I'm saying? And you got a nigga rapping for eight minutes in the second round and 11 minutes in the third round. I felt like it was disrespectful. I felt like, you know, the integrity was lost. Nobody kept, nobody was, they were, you know what I'm saying? And I felt like it was, it was bullshit. And at the time, I felt like it was set up purposely, you know what I'm saying, with all of the extras, the casket, the, all of that shit, you know what I'm saying, the obituary. I'm feeling like, damn. And then Puff is there. He's from Harlem. So I'm feeling like, was this all a, a hoax? You know what I'm saying? Was this yeah. all planned? You know what I'm saying? Like, how do a nigga know when that fucking screen's supposed to change? You know what I'm saying? Like, the, the I'm, I'm thinking, okay, smack in on this shit, diddy in on this shit, bust in on this shit. <laughs> all the way down to the motherfucker, all the way down to the motherfucking lights guy, the nigga that control the lights and the screen is down with the shit. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So if, yeah. if anybody, even the URL staff, they're my brothers, but they know it wasn't nothing personal. I just felt like it was set up, and I felt like it was some bullshit. I felt like I showed too much love to the URL staff. You know what I'm saying? For me to get jerked like that. But I took do you still feel the way on? I mean, I probably will always feel like that, man. But then again, I like I said, I, I look at shit from everybody point point of view. You know what I'm saying? I don't never, I don't never have a closed mind. I never try to look at shit in only Calico's way. I mm -hmm. switch the shit around. I look at it from Smack point of view. I look at it from Diddy point of view. I look at it from Lux point of view. Diddy yeah. looking at it, okay, this nigga from Harlem. I don't care what happened. I don't care if the, I don't care if the opponent get killed on stage. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. I'm looking at it from Lux view. Shit, I'm coming back. I need my fans back. I'm I'm gonna do whatever it takes to get these fans back. You know what I'm saying? Then I look at it from Smack view. Okay, damn. I can get Diddy in here. I can get Buff in here. I can get Q Tip in here. I can get Lux to come back. All I gotta do is make sure he wins. You know what I'm saying? Make sure he look good. Like I look at it from every view. You know what I'm saying? A nigga, a nigga gotta eat. He look at it like Calico. No matter what happens, Calico gonna bounce back. If I can make this money and make this shit. You know what I'm saying? It could have went that way. It, could, it, it, it probably was all blind to smack eyes. He probably didn't know what was going on. You know what I'm saying? However way you take it, however way they take it, that's what it is. But the shit is over with, and we all we all prosper from it. You know? Yeah. Uh, um, we actually had um, I think it was I think it was Big K last week who came on, and he actually made light of something. You know, the whole time limit thing you were just talking about, as far as like you yeah. know that people need to be a little bit more stricter with the time limits and this, that, and third. Yeah. Because um, I think the, the Conceited Suit Surf battle had just dropped in. It, and and um, it was apparent that Conceited spit way longer than Suit Surf did. And, um, I yeah. think, and, and you um, want me to tell you why I didn't really kill Surf? Mm -hmm. I'm going to tell you the problem with the time limit. The time limit is way more effective for the person that's going first. You know what I'm mm -hmm. saying? If I if I spit three minutes and a nigga come behind me, pause and spit five minutes, you damn near forgot my first two minutes. Listen to yeah, this sure. extra two minutes. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Now, the situation with Surf and Conceited is still close because Conceited went first. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So you got Conceited going first, and then you still ending your rounds with Surf. So that's why I wasn't so effective. In my situation, I'm going first, and I have damn near half of what he has. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So it's a it's a fucked up situation. They gotta get they gotta get them time limits together. They got to, cause mm -hmm. the shit is like it's like it's like it's like fighting a person with one arm. You know what I'm saying? You it's only so much you can say, my nigga. If you if you spit in three minutes, only so much you can say. With a nigga spitting eleven minutes, that's ridiculous. That's that's no. that's half of an album, my nigga. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Eleven minutes and eight minutes, and then the first round. He probably got out a minute. That's that's motherfucking. That's ridiculous. That's nineteen minutes. That's twenty minutes in two rounds, basically. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? That's that's ridiculous, man. If if the shit was unlimited, I wouldn't have nothing to say about it. Because guess what? I would have prepared unlimited too. 
You know what I'm saying? If it was unlimited, when a nigga take an unlimited battle, that's what he put himself up against. I don't do unlimited battles. You never saw me do an unlimited battle. Even when I do one round, it's still a time limit because you can never prepare for a nigga when you don't know what he's going to say. You don't know how long yeah. this nigga want to rap. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And you do got like some a boxing match. That's Just long fight winded. to the death. Somebody gonna eventually die in the ring. You know what I'm saying? You gotta have a time limit on anything. Anything you do, you gotta have a time limit. It's a time on on, a, on every day, my nigga. You can't just live one day forever. Like it's time limits on everything, bro. So for them not to have a time limit on that when it was in the contract, it was fucked up. But like I say, we they're my brothers, and we have and brothers have issues sometimes. And sometimes we agree to disagree. You know what I'm saying? I don't want nobody ever quoting me wrong saying, oh, Calico don't fuck with Smack. No, nah, that's my motherfucking brother. Smack to help me out on shit that has nothing to do with rap. You know what I'm saying? Okay. Me and Smack me and Smack are, we, we friends. You know what I'm saying? That's that's my mm -hmm. big bro, man. Way beyond rap. Ain't got shit to do with that. So is Beasley. So is Chico. So is Norris. Them all my peoples. But beyond, if I don't never spit another battle in my life, if I never spit another bar in my life, then my niggas forever. That's what's up. That's what's up. You, you got, okay, um, now, last, last time we had you on the show, um, it was some words with awkward. Um, do you still yeah. feel a certain type of way around about him, or is that no, all? No, 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 no. That shit was... That was another misunderstanding, just a lack of communication. You know what I'm saying? It was it was all of, like we had a whole conversation about the shit. It was just a huge misunderstanding. Aquas tweeted something that I didn't like, but he didn't mean what I thought he meant. You know what I'm saying? It was some yeah. shit like he missed the punctuation and, and changed the whole fucking tweet. You know what I'm saying? He said yeah. something about, um, he said something about, about my, my dog situation, my, my animal cruelty situation, he said something about that. And the way he said his comment, it was like, you took it, it was like stuff. wishing bad on me. You know what I'm saying? Like yeah. hoping uh, hoping I get incarcerated, you know what I'm saying, get locked up or some shit like that. But when he explained it, it meant something totally different. He just missed the punctuation. He missed like a comma or some shit like that. That changed the whole, you know what I'm saying, that changed the whole tweet. And I can't remember exactly what it was. I can't quote it word for mm -hmm. word. There was something like that, but we talked about it. It's, it's all that shit there. All right. Uh, you know, you just brought up the whole situation with the whole dog thing and everything. I know you can't talk too much about it, but, like, is that situation, like, taken care of? Is it still ongoing? Oh, it's, 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 it's in the process of being taken care of. That was another misunderstanding. My my life has been full of misunderstanding for the last seven, eight months. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's just, I don't know what's happened to me, but, you know, when you when you down this, when, when the shit get this bad, it can't get no worse. It can only go up. You know what I'm saying? So I just want to, you know, I want to say I love, I want to give a special shout-out and a special thanks to all of my fans that's holding me down no matter what. You know what I'm saying? I, I love y'all. That's why I tweet y'all every day. I fuck with y'all on Instagram. You know what I'm saying? And I, I really want everybody to know that I genuinely feel that way. It's not something I know. It just sound like what I'm supposed to say, but sometimes my fans get me through the roughest times of my life, my nigga. You know what I'm saying? Sometimes I just be so fucking down, man. On my way to court, leaving court, other shit that has nothing to do with that. You know what I'm saying? My pops got a, you know what I'm saying? I got a, I got a lot of responsibilities, man. You know what I'm saying? And sometimes I get I get certain tweets like, you know, Calico, I fuck with you, you. I, I got to watch your battles to get my day started. Shit like that from, you know what I'm saying, from fans. And I, it shit just make me, it make me say fuck all of the negativity in my life. You know what I'm saying? So I love my fans, man. I, lo I love y'all to death. All right. Um, all right. I remember right now, after now to your be, battle now had to be dropped. Fair too. My bad. Go ahead, second. I was about to. I remember right after your battle had dropped, I remember um, Aver, I believe it was, made a blog. Um, referencing how I don't remember it was before or after your battle dropped, but I remember Aver made a blog saying um, that um, Lux kind of like you know was sitting back peeping what Verb did with Hitman and kind of yeah. like recycled it and kind of tried to throw it back on you or whatever. Do you like do you, do you um, take it that way or do you think Lux came up with that on his own? Like, what's your feelings on that? I mean. I know it's a lot of Lux fans out there, you know what I'm saying? It's a lot of Lux haters out there. 
I don't care what side you on right now. Everybody know that that is the same scheme from Verb. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's clear that that's, it's, that's clearly the same scheme. Not to say if Lux did the shit good or not, you know what I'm saying? That's something different. Okay, you can mm-hmm. say he took his scheme, okay, but he did it damn good. Okay, but you got to say he took his scheme, though. It's the same thing. You know what I'm saying? It's basically talking to you, you know what I'm saying? And, and yeah. he said that's how you talk to your son, talking to his father. And he was telling me about my father. It's the same thing, mm-hmm. you know? I didn't think it was that crazy. I mean, it was – I actually like his second round way more than I like his third round. You know what I'm saying? His third round was kind of boring to me. Mm-hmm. But, you know, nigga – can look at it the way you want to look at it. All right, Jesse, you had a question. Now, now to be fair, you you said the issue with Lux on that third round and the and the screen and everything with URL. People had accused you of the same thing with the Arsenal battle with the trick trick situation. Yeah. Um, I I don't have no con- look. They have every piece of control over the lights and the TV and all of that, you know. I have no control over that. That's totally different. I have no con- I also have no control over Trick Trick. You know what I'm saying? I don't, I can't make, I have no control over Arsenal. I can't make Arsenal say, my nigga should got that shotgun. You know what I'm saying? Trick was chilling. Trick had just got done talking to Ars. He was talking yeah. to Ars. They chopped it up. He told Ars, I appreciate you for coming out here. He said, you showing love to the city. You get love whenever you hear, man. Don't say nothing too disrespectful, because what do you expect us to do? You know what I'm saying? Him and Ars chopped it up. They had a good time. They shook hands, everything. Ars went right on stage and said, sure, got that shotgun. It was no point for you to say that. Then the bar after my nigga sure got that shotgun, but let anybody in the crowd try something, they getting popped. You know what I'm saying? Like, you can't, you can't do that. I don't want to say... Toughest place in the world. No, 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 it's not. You know what I'm saying? But mm-hmm. I will say this. There's some wild motherfuckers here. And I ain't just saying that to hype my city up or nothing like that. Any nigga that been to my city, they know what it is. They know it's a jungle out here. That was our first time in Detroit. He didn't know it was a jungle out here like that. No. To keep it real, the niggas that wanted Arsenal wasn't no, it wasn't, that didn't have nothing to do with Trick Trick or the Goon Squad. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. That shit was that shit was way beyond that, man. Proof was a real nigga. Proof really fuck with niggas here. Proof wasn't no nigga like. Proof wasn't no nigga that didn't come around, but only for special occasions. You see proof rolling through the hood every day. And you know, you know what I'm saying? Proof was. You know the proof got killed in a motherfucking small ass club after hour on the east side, my nigga. That's the type of nigga he was. He hang out everywhere. Yeah. So he hurt a lot of people's feelings when he said that. Shug, I'm talking about Shug. He hurt yeah. a lot of people's feelings when he said that. You had just gotten into a controversy with um, hands. Right. Yeah, well, one second, Jesse, before you even go there. I just want to say the whole Arsenal thing. The funny thing about that was it, people was trying to make it out to be a North versus Detroit thing after that happened. And it had and it nothing was, to do with that. It had nothing to do with that. Cause, but people yeah. that don't even know, like, um, proof. Like before anybody even knew who Proof was, he was living in Jersey, Jersey, my nigga. Exactly, he he, because because the outsiders is my dudes, and they, they fucked with the outsiders heavy. Like Jersey show, yeah. Proof, bizarre, only time I ever Eminem had been to Jersey, show. only time I had ever been to Jersey, I was there with Proof. It had nothing to do with battling. I've never been to Jersey in my life until I battled O'Red. The only time mm-hmm. I've been to Jersey before that was to Proof House, my nigga. He lived in Jersey, yeah. So it wasn't he, nothing like no Newark versus nothing like that. Yeah, and niggas trying to say I set the shit up to make myself look good, my nigga. I can't help it. I'm a real nigga in my city. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Ain't too many niggas in the world that could have told Trick to chill that that at that at that point. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Proof is like an uncle to me, my nigga. When I hey, told what? the nigga to chill, he chilled for me, not for not for ours. They wanted to fuck him up. Now mm-hmm. for a nigga to say. I went on my way to make myself look good in that situation. That's blasphemous because I could have sat there and let the nigga get fucked up. Yeah. So I'm I'm wrong if I don't do nothing, but then I set it up if I help the nigga out the situation. It's crazy. Fans make up shit every day. They make up what they want to make up. If you think I set that shit up, all right, you come here and say the same shit he said then. And I guess you're going to say I set your shit up too because I ain't saving no more niggas. <laughs> 
Uh, I, all right, now, now the Brooklyn Ham situation, you guys got into a little argument. Um, and he, I think the argument started off of him saying, why are you chilling with Shotgun Chug? I don't know what it started from. I actually thought he was talking to one of my niggas. That's why the first thing you hear me say on that video is, hold on, ain't no niggas that's with me soft. I, I didn't even know he was talking to me. Mm -hmm. Hands was acting on a lot of people that day. He was. He, he was acting <laughs> yeah, a lot. Yeah, but I ain't of one of them niggas, man. I ain't yeah. one of them niggas, man. Don't you know what I'm saying? And, and me and him, we squashed that shit too. You know what I'm saying? He came to me. We we chopped it up at the next event. I ain't even know what was going on when he was walking up. Shit, I was on some shit like, what up? You know what I'm saying? Because I didn't know what was going on. But he came as a man. You know what I'm saying? Like he was drunk. He was tripping. You know what I'm saying? And I ain't gonna lie. I just saw him trip out like that before. You know what I'm saying? A couple times. But he ne I never expected him to trip on me like that because, like I say, I fuck with certain niggas. You know what I'm saying? And I, I thought Hands was one of the niggas I fucked with. Like, Hands, me and Hands was just chilling, talking right before that incident. You know what I'm saying? So, mm -hmm. for a nigga to, first of all, ain't no nigga going to call me soft. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Ain't no nigga. Because you don't look at me and tell me I'm soft. You know what I'm saying? Like, I damn, I don't, I don't, I don't play like that, man. You know what I'm saying? So for a nigga to look, that's like calling me a bitch. You know what I'm saying? On some real shit, like you a bitch. Like, I ain't about to keep talking from the stage. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. I'm going to come to you like a man. You know what I'm saying? So the shit was, oh, that was a wild ass, that yeah, was a that, wild that was ass a, event. That was a wild way, man. That shit was all crazy and fucked up. But, but the question that he did raise up is, why were you on Shotgun Ship's corner? It wasn't about who corner I was on, my nigga. I, that's like JC getting mad at me because I'm in a camera while ill rapping. I'm all over the stage. They hadn't even started rapping. You know what I'm saying? It wasn't no, I wasn't taking no sides that day. You think I give a fuck about who went between Bill Collector and Shotgun? <laughs> I don't give a fuck about that battle. I knew it was going to be a good battle. I don't, they, neither one of them from my city. I don't give a fuck about whose side I'm on. It wasn't about that. You know what I'm saying? It was about, I'm on stage about to see this battle. You know what I'm saying? And a nigga want to look at me and say, I'm soft for being on this. What type of childish shit is that, first of all? Second of all, I don't give a fuck about none of y'all niggas. You know what I'm saying? Niggas, when, after a nigga tell me I'm soft and nobody calm him down, nobody tell him chill or nothing, I don't give a fuck about nobody at that point. You know what I'm saying? And I'm out there... Basically, like me and my niggas against whoever at that point. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So it was like I was in a situation to where I ain't know who was breaking the shit up. I ain't know who was jumping in. I ain't know nothing. So it was whatever. And trust me, every time I'm out there, I'm straight. Every time. I don't want. I ain't, I ain't trying to come back to Detroit with another case. You know what I'm saying? I got two cases pending right now, man. Y'all only know about one of them because y'all see it on the news. You know what I'm saying? I ain't trying to have three cases pending, man. This shit, this shit okay. is either they going to be rappers or they going to be on some street nigga shit. And being on street nigga shit is not good when you only do it when you're at the crib. Mm -hmm. I wouldn't even play niggas like that when they come here. Ask, or ask anybody here that was on that, um, that, was on that card. I show love to everybody. I had these niggas in the hood, chilling. Ask Surf. When Surf got booked, he was with me, man. I ain't even, you know what I'm saying? He got, he had his own pistol. That ain't, that ain't had nothing to do with me. Yeah. Surf slick ass. I ain't even know he had his gun. He told me, but I ain't, you know what I'm saying? I ain't know it was where we was at. You know what I'm saying? So you can ask any nigga. I chill in the hood all day, man. I show love to everybody. Any nigga giving a nigga a wrong look that's here for me out of town, that's from out of town, I, I check them. You know what I'm saying? I don't know niggas. Ask Norbs. You know the last time he was just here, some crazy shit hopped up yeah. in the club. Some crazy <laughs> shit. Norbs got war stories. I wasn't even there place. for Norbs. I didn't even know Norbs was in the city, my nigga. Norbs called me and told me where he was at. I went straight to him because I, I knew he was in the slums. He was in the jungle. <laughs> when I got to him, I told him, bro, you don't even know where you at, my nigga. He like, no, it's straight. I'm like, all right, yeah, I remember um, that you weekend. We, I remember that weekend we were chilling. Y'all had told that story about um about what did you, what did you say he was at McDon about McDonald's. What's the name of that McDonald's? You said again? The Murder Mac. Yeah. <laughs> and I told I told this nigga I told him you don't even know where you at, my nigga. He like nah, it's straight. I'm like all right. 
30 minutes later, my nigga, guns coming from everywhere. Niggas shooting up the club, everything. Ask Norris, what did I do? I didn't have to. Norris, mm -hmm. I was in there with Norris for damn near an hour the whole time. He didn't know shit. He didn't know I had shit or nothing. I pulled the strap out and got Norris up out of there. Looking at every nigga like, I'll pop you for this nigga because he here from out of town and he don't know where he at. That's how it's supposed to be when I'm out there. It don't supposed to be, oh, I'm at home, you'll get fucked up. No, it's supposed to be, I'm at home so I got you and nobody going to do shit to you. That's how it's supposed to be. I shouldn't have to drive my own guns to New York. You know what I'm saying? Just like I told Surf, he was out here with his own shit. I told him, you didn't have to do that. I had you. You know what I'm saying? But I feel him because that's where he's from. He from a place where I got to take my strap to every time because I don't know who to trust. Yeah. Right, you heard Rex in his last battle. He said, I'm from a place where your best friend will shoot you in the back. That shit, it got to be real because there's nobody there that I really didn't put my trust into. Just like, just like excluding a couple niggas. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like niggas out there really, like, they'll be a man one day, the next day they'll be blogging about you. I never understood this shit. I just put it in my notes as, that's how New York is. You know what I'm saying? That's how it is out there. So I, I play Pretty everybody accordingly. Yeah, I'm cool, but I ain't going to trust you as far as I can throw you. Yeah. Uh, you want to take some um, questions from the fans? Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, let's go take some phone calls. Uh, 917, you there? 917? All right, let's go on. 619, you there? Yeah, what's going on, Cal? Yo, what's poppin'? Not much, not much. So, honestly, man, I'm just I'm just uh, happy to listen in. This is Tim from uh, from BattleRapper.com. I, I uh, spoke to you a little bit at the, uh, at, the, uh, at the Armageddon event. I'm the one that actually shot that video of you and, uh, of you at hand. So... And it was cool just because, I mean, it, it was, wasn't was cool, but, I mean, as far as the responses that, you know, on YouTube, it was, you know, it was just saying that, you know, Cal's obviously a real person, you know, you, you just don't yeah, want to mess yeah. with him. And, and it I, wasn't I, even I about that, though. I don't even want to be known as that type of guy, you know what I'm saying? I'm yeah, actually yeah, a guy. Yeah. You know I'd be in the crowd rapping, freestyling with the fans, everything. I ain't never be on no tough shit, man, but... For a guy to just try to disrespect me for no reason, my nigga, like, I ain't yeah. said nothing to you, was just yeah. chilling with you. Like, I couldn't understand it. And when I can't understand something, I'm going to address it. You know what I'm saying? What type of nigga would I be to just let that slide? You know what I'm saying? I was ready to take that shit to anywhere it had to go that night. You know what I'm saying? Because no, you're right. And I, and yeah. I, I feel like any any other man should, too. Wow, I, com I completely agree. And Jesse, we'll talk about that bet later on. <laughs> <All right. laughs> Thanks for the oh, yeah. well, yo, yo, Calico actually heard both verses. Calico, who did you have winning that night? Rex Ooh. or Disaster, if it was happening? Oh, shit. <laughs> yeah, I remember you was praising Rex versus. Classic, man. Classic. And, you know, Disaster got a, uh, Disaster got some shit. Rex got some shit. It's, the, it's definitely the best Rex that we gonna hear. Definitely the best Rex that I done heard, you know. And and disaster is just like I never thought that he can do that transformation from grind time to smack, but he fucking did it. He did. I can't wait for that battle to finally happen. And so, I can't uh, wait. Five one eight, you there? Yeah, it was good. What's good? Yo. Shit. Yeah, when is that on when is that battle going down? They still I know they were supposed to announce the date. Did they announce the date for that yet? Not nah, sure. they're still working on it. Are oh, they still working on it? All right. Yeah. Uh, what's good, Cal? Yo, what's poppin'? Shit, shit. So, um, I had seen that interview. I forgot who it was on, though. You still you still think you beat Lux 2-1? Yeah, definitely. Can I, can I definitely. ask why? Can you give me, like, an explanation of why you think you... Of course you, you can. Of course you can. I feel like, okay, my first round, I won, clearly. He choked. Clearly, you know? Yeah, I gave that to you. yeah. Okay, and I feel like the second round, if you pay attention, first of all, it's three minutes versus eight minutes. My whole three minutes, I got you, ooh, ooh, I got a response, ooh, ooh, I'm, I'm dropping punch after punch after punch after punch. Oh, you no, know you was going now, all. You was definitely going if you all. Take all of, I feel like if you take all of his filler out of the eight minutes, he probably a half three minutes. Now, if you got five minutes of filler... 
then what's the, you know what I'm saying? Like, I felt like he just was rambling a, a lot. You know what I'm saying? Like, about, I say a minute of rambling. And that's such He had round. a minute straight of rambling. I was, I was taking all of that. Straight. I, I was exactly taking what part you talking about. But yeah. the rest of that I was shit. Saying, I was, when, I said, when I said five minutes of rambling, I meant all together. He had a damn near a minute straight rambling. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And then he heated up. He heated up a little bit towards like three minutes. And then, you know what I'm saying, there was a bunch of more rambling. I, I don't know. I, I feel like a lot of his punchlines was overhyped. You know what I'm saying? Like, there's a lot of shit that I just felt like if another, if, if DNA would have said it, niggas would have been like, oh, okay, it was all right. You know what I'm saying? If, if an, any other nigga would have said it. You know what I'm saying? I feel you. Like, so you, you think you got around one and two? Yeah, yeah. I left a lot of shit out of my third. You know what I'm saying? So uh -huh. I... As a, as you know, I know I, I know I fucked up and let the crowd get to me. So I, I'm a, I'm a man of, uh, at some point, and I tell, I tell myself like, I know I didn't come with everything that I'm supposed to have that third. So I give him the third. You know what I'm saying? But I actually think his third wasn't as crazy as it, as his second. I don't. I like his second better because I like the ball. Yeah, I, I clearly like his second like, better than his third. I, I like his third shit. was boring. I feel like everybody that watched that battle. They had to watch it like four times to listen to the third because you would stop after so long and you would pick up like like a movie that you can't get through. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> like, yeah, right, right, right. I got you. I got you. And yeah. then uh, what, what you? Who else you you battling this year? Because you was gone for a minute. So you, you got oh, yeah, oh, yeah. coming over. Yeah, I'm battling. I think April, but you know, a lot of people just uh, they they look at the shit now and they be like, oh, Calico, oh he he battled Lux and then he just disappeared like. That's because I have never gave my time, I mean, gave myself time to to do what these niggas do. You know what I'm saying? If you think about it, all last year, I probably battled seven times last year. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. uh -huh. So a lot of, and, and I got two battles that never came out. I battled, in, I went to Vegas and I went to St. Louis. So I'm still waiting on them to come out. Like a lot of people don't know how hard I was working last year. You know what I'm saying? So I didn't even know me, that. Yeah, so for me to be gone for all this time, People looking at it like, damn, this nigga, this nigga disappeared. I didn't disappear. Nobody said nothing yeah, about it, Big T it, battling it once like a year. It. Nobody said nothing about Goods battling once a year. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like they always do what I'm doing now, but they not used to me doing it. So it's, it's like I disappeared. You know what I'm saying? It, was, it just looked like you battled lots, and niggas was going crazy over that shit. And then it was like he just killed you, and you just disappeared. Right? You know what I mean? It right. looked funny, like. What the fuck is this nigga? Yo, you know what I mean? my nigga, but, but you got to also think that niggas still got real lives. You know what I'm saying? I yeah, battled absolutely. Lux at a time in my life where I didn't even supposed to be battling, my nigga. Like, I'm yeah, supposed yeah, to have been handling the shit that I'm supposed to be handling. You know what I'm saying? Like, uh -huh. a, a, nigga, a nigga look at shit like, oh, he ain't doing shit no more, and, oh, Lux killed him. My nigga, I got court next week. <laughs> you know yeah. what I'm saying? Like, I got, yeah. my fucking, I got my fucking research to do, and... To prove the reason why I'm innocent, you know what I'm saying? Like, I got yeah. more shit to be worried about than waking up writing bars for another nigga. Right? Yeah, because like, I niggas don't know how long ago I caught that case. That. I had that case the whole time I was writing for Lux. Yeah, that is crazy. You know what I'm like, I don't know how you did that. <laughs> yeah, it was crazy. You know what I'm saying? So for me to get there with all of that on my back, my nigga, and a nigga rap for 11 minutes in one round, it was kind of it was disrespect. I felt disrespected. You know what I'm saying? Um, question. Um, your, it was it was like a lot of people was debating on your first round with Lux when you you know when you was addressing all that and everything else. A lot of yeah. people felt like you spent too much time on it, and you should have probably focused more on Lux. You feel like would you have done it over again differently? If Man, I do I do it ten more times. Let me tell you why, my nigga. Mm. Like everybody don't know. Like that battle has so many more meanings to it than just Lux. To just beating uh, Lux, you know what I'm saying? To that wasn't my that wasn't my biggest issue going into that ring to beat Lux, you know what I'm saying? I had shit to say and shit to prove political reasons, you know what I'm saying? This is the biggest thing that I do. I am on one of the biggest networks in the world that has something to do with battle rap, you know what I'm saying? So <laughs> this is the biggest thing that the police and news and everything is going to pay attention to, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? So by me staying on that for too long for y'all, that's a, a lot of people don't look at it from my point of view. I'm staying on that for a reason. I got to say this shit. I got to get this type of shit out. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? I got to say that I'm an innocent man. I got to say, I got to stress 
to them that I didn't, that I don't deserve to be incarcerated. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So if if a minute of daytime was too long for me to be a free nigga, then I don't know what to tell them. Then they're not fans of me then. If they don't understand why, I got to handle that business first. All right. I agree. Let's uh, go to another call. Let's go. 570, you there? Yes. I actually got a question. Your next battle, are you going to make an issue off of the time limit? No, 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 no. My next battle is going to be time. You know what I'm saying? It's going to be organized. You know what I'm saying? It's not going. It's, I'm not going to have this problem again. No, no, that's I what really, I mean. Are Are you going to make sure that they stop the person at three or four minutes? Oh yes, minutes? yes, yes. Of course, yeah. It's going. It's going to be. It's going to be like it's supposed to be. You know what I'm saying? We not go. We already had this talk. We we not gonna have this problem ever again. You know what I'm saying? So that wouldn't be, that won't be an issue ever again. Okay. Five seven zero. All right, let's do another call. Seven one three. You there? Seven one three. Seven one three. All right, back quiet. All right, let's go. Six seven eight. I think I had a question for you. Six seven eight. You there? Six seven eight. Atlanta. Hello? Yeah. I'm on? Yeah, you are. Hey, TL, what up? Yo, what's happening with you, Calico? Yo, what's poppin'? Yo, man, it's J-Boy underscore ATL on Twitter. You know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm a big fan of yours, man. I've been watching, you know what I'm saying, since since your first battle or whatever like that on URL. Um, I, I, ain't, I ain't really too much have a question, you know what I'm saying, if I could hit me off guard, you feel me? But, um, right. shit, I'm just showing my support, you feel me, you know what I'm saying? I'm going to be looking out for your next battle and all that. Um, Thanks, man. I appreciate it a lot, man. Hold your shit down, you feel me? You know what I'm saying? Keep it G. You already know what it is. Yep. Hey, that's what's up. Yeah. That's what's up. Let's go, uh, 414, you there? Hello? Yeah. Yo, Milwaukee? Yeah, what up, what up, Calico? Yo, what's poppin'? Shit, shit, what up, Psycho? What up, Jesse? Man, I just wanted to call and say Calico been a big fan ever since you bodied uh, Newborn. And uh, Thanks, I man. feel I that. It, man. And I feel, and I'm on Twitter too, real underscore Ron Mexico. But I do feel that I think that people wanted Lux to be so successful in that battle that that's why they allowed all that extra stuff to go on. Yeah, you, and you, you I, feel and what I'm saying? I understand. Go ahead, Calico, but you feel where I'm coming from? I think that's why all that went down like that. I don't yeah, think yeah, as a businessman, I understand. Yeah, as a businessman, I understand a little bit, you know what I'm saying? But as a rapper, I can't understand it at all, you know what I'm saying? But but looking from the business point, you know, this shit, this shit needed to go somewhere else, and it did from that battle with that, with all of the casket, the theatrics, you know what I'm saying? Like, from the business point of view, Smack, I see what you did. I see what I see what was going on, you know. But you know, at some point we got to get back to real life, and we can't keep on dwelling on the past or what happened, you know. So I'm moving on to the next battle, and trust me, my fans will see some crazy shit for my next battle. That's good shit, man. I think you need to spaz out and come back from that, man. You know what I'm saying? I think a lot of people are doubting you now. Everybody talking about luck. And I felt the battle was back and forth, and I totally can understand where you're coming from. That you can look at the battle two one. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But I just think that whole little situation was whack, and there needed to be rules and parameters in place for not one, not to let nothing like that happen ever again. You know what I'm saying? I feel personally, exactly. be, 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 me being from the Midwest, I think in NYC, a lot of the Midwest, a lot of Midwest people, are, especially for summer madness, get slighted. Just yeah, get slighted off top. Crazy. So I don't know what needs to be changed because that is, the, you know, the Super Bowl of battle rap, but it got to be fair right. for everybody. That's yeah, all I really I have agree. to say, totally man. Totally agree. That's all I have to say, man. Peace to all y'all, man. Well, uh, hope to see you soon in the battle. Please kill the next nigga, Calico. Peace out, I got you. It's going to be epic. Pop, all right, man. Go on, man. 414, man. Bet your money, bet your money man. It's safe. Trust me. All right. All right, brother. Peace. Yeah. Thanks for the call. All right. Let's go. Uh, two, six, let's see, what is it? 267, you there? Two six seven. I think two six seven is out the country. No, that's West Coast. I think two o two. You there? Seattle. 
Two oh two. Some quiet people tonight. Uh, let's go nine one seven. You there? Yo, what's going New on, York? fellow city? How y'all living? What's good. Yo, uh, let me put you on speaker right quick. Yo, y'all hear me now? Yeah. Yeah, yeah yo. Um, shout out to Hip Hop Psycho. Shout out to Jesse. Shout out to you, Calico. Um, I'm a fan of yours, man. I was actually at Summer Madness too. I was in the building. And um, I'll be honest with you. When I came, when I came in there. I was, you know, I'm a, I'm a huge Loaded Lux fan from the old days. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Uh huh. Um, just seeing him on the stage, I didn't really care who it was unless, you know, I was out for blood. And then you were spitting. I was exactly. like, yo, I was like, yo, Calico is just cool. And I'm, I'm, I'm not. I, I live in New York, but I'm from VA, so it was no, no New York bias. But, 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 right. I, but you, the stage, you were spitting your shit. You know what I'm saying? He, he, you know, he, when he choked the first round. It was like. Santa Claus is real, you know what I mean? <laughs> yeah, it hurt feelings. And they were so mad at, look, they were so mad at me that he <laughs> let them down, you know what I'm saying, to where they took it out on me the next two rounds. Like, they exactly. were so mad at me. They, was, yeah, they wasn't even, they wasn't even fucking me, the, they wasn't even fucking <laughs> me the first round, pause. Like, the first round they was fucking with me because they knew he still had the second, they, he still had his first round to do. But when he yeah. choked, he heard so many feelings. To where they was like, all right, fuck it, we gotta take it out on this nigga. Like, look, yeah. fuck, we gotta, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, man, listen, it was, it was bad. Like, I was in VIP, and like, when he choked, like, our heart stopped. And that shit was like, right. I've never seen some shit like that before. You know what I'm saying? So it was like, it was, it was, and I will admit, being in the moment, I probably was yelling, like, loud for some stuff that Lux said that wasn't necessarily the craziest thing I ever heard. You know what I mean? And I understand, you give him though. a little extra. You give him a little extra, extra help. You know what I'm saying? I, I, yeah. I, I'll admit it. But I do appreciate that's why people, it. That's why people, it's, it's so many people that can't be a man and admit that, though. You know what I'm saying? It's so many yeah, people that I, can't. You know, I, I, I will admit it. They don't, even, I, they don't I, even realize that I understand where they're coming from. This is a nigga that... That you that you been waiting to see forever, you know what I'm saying? Right, I don't exactly. Give a fuck. I don't, bro, if Jordan come back right now, I don't give a fuck if he missed three layups, my nigga. I'm still here, exactly. my nigga. <laughs> exactly. And so that was, I think, I think, but I definitely think you guys and I. He 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 did a great job. You did a great job. I definitely don't yeah. think it was completely lopsided. I do agree that his third verse is legendary. Um. And I, I even had him edge in the battle, but if somebody said 2-1 two, two, and you won, then I would understand because you did have definitely, you had really three solid rounds. And I, I definitely like your first yeah, two battles. Yeah, yeah, that nigga Lux, just, is, third, Lux is just smart, man. And he knew what yeah, was going on. Third, his, that's why he, his word, and most of his shit was wordplay. You know what I'm saying? I feel like I'm on a, I feel like a, uh, what do you say? I feel like I'm at your mom's door with a convoy for the arms soldiers from Darfur. Like, I get where you going with it, my nigga, but it's not right. crazy like that. You know what I'm saying? You can sense it, the tension is thicker than German guard dog. Like, come on, man. Like, yeah, it was. Another right, nigga right, 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 like, right, right. I, I mean, I definitely feel you. I mean, I, I, like I said before, it's it depends shot, you on how throw, you do shoot it. Shoot through car doors like it's cardboard. Like, yeah, what, I feel what you. What you. Like, I, it, I, I, feel, like, I feel you. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I just, I just, me, I, I prefer Lux's style, but I wouldn't be mad if somebody yeah. said. I would I would be mad if somebody said two one you and some people that's why I had a problem. Some people were so mad if you didn't say luck one. I'm like, well, right, luck one because I like his style more. But if you like, yeah. but if you was listening to Calico, he wasn't saying bullshit either. You know what I mean? Right. Especially that you know, got, you, know you, got of, you you play with niggas' minds in there though. Really, man, you got Diddy fucking your mind up too. You know what I'm saying? Right. And then so you got, and then after the battle, you got Jay Z fucking your mind up. You know what I'm saying? Right. So it's, I definitely understand. You know what I'm saying? So my next question. So my, my just, I really had. Oh, I really had Yo, do you really think that played a factor in the battle? Diddy, Diddy's what? point of view and fuck yeah. If you got my nigga, listen, okay. I'm in Detroit. We got two battles going on, and Eminem is going crazy for one of the niggas. Like, you might think you missing something. Like, damn, maybe Em heard some shit that I'm not hearing. You know what I'm saying? Like, for him to be that big in hip hop, you know what I'm saying? It don't really support. Like, he told Verb, "Good luck." You know what I'm saying? You can't be, you can't be telling niggas to suck your dick. Okay, man. First of all, you you're too powerful in this situation to to side with anyone. You know what I'm saying? You can't be. Saying, 
good luck. You did your thing, but it wasn't good enough, my nigga, because you got the power to make 20 other people think that. You know what I'm saying? Even if they wasn't even on your side at first, but you worth $475 million and people was looking up to that. So your opinion really shouldn't be a... You shouldn't, you shouldn't make an opinion in that situation, especially when you the nigga putting up the 10 stacks. So you, know you don't think saying? he should so have been the one the, judging it? I mean, when we did the battle in, in Detroit, Eminem was there. He sat there the whole time. The shit he liked, he liked. The shit he didn't, he didn't. But he didn't go crazy for the shit. You know what I'm saying? He didn't want to persuade the crowd in any kind of way. He saved this shit for when he had to judge. The battle was judged at the at the time. You know what I'm saying? And, you know, you aren't supposed to do that because you know you can you controlling minds that's in the building, man. You know, what was your opinion like about, that, about you, that whole but, situation? Like, do you think it was like? I mean, it do was you think crazy. it was weird I mean, that he um, waited to the second round to throw up the money? Did you like? Yeah, yeah, but it was it was you know. Then it, that's when I go back to my shit saying that you know maybe the shit was all rigged because every New York nigga knew that Diddy then was gonna be there. You know what I'm saying? They knew that. Like Rex told me, he knew damn near two weeks before time that Diddy. Uh, Q-Tip and motherfucking um, Buster was going to be there. You know what I'm saying? So, the shit just, like, come on now. You think if we didn't know Diddy was going to be there, we wouldn't have some bars for that? DNA mm -hmm. against Ness, he went damn near his whole third round with the bad boy shit that Diddy. You know what I'm saying? Rex said the, the Q-Tip shit and all that. Like, you, you can't. You can't. It's, that's fucked up. Shit's I'm not supposed sure to be this. even. We're supposed to know. I don't, I don't think they like. I don't think it was purposely done like that. I think it just had to do with no, like, location. No, I don't either. I just think word got out. Yeah, exactly. It's like location. Like, I don't, you know, like I said, that's access. what I said about Smack. Like, I'm not mad at Smack. I don't think shit was purposely like that, but the way it looked at the time, you know what I'm saying, it's mm -hmm. fucked up. Yeah. All right. Let's uh, let's go to another call. Let's try six, six, seven, six, seven, eight. You there? Yeah. What's good, fam? Yo, what's what's good, Calico? What's poppin'? Shit, man. This is Jay Paul from Atlanta, man. Big fan for a long time, bro. But I'm going to just put it to you like this, man. I really felt that Calico 3 0 Loaded Lux, and all. This is, bro, everybody's calling me crazy for this shit on the forums and all that. But I, yeah. I just think, really, really, that there was a lot of gas in that crowd. You know what I mean? There yeah, was so it was. Much gas, there That's was so all. much gas in that crowd, right? Like, yeah. And then how do you, how do you choke? Like, to go even further with it, you could say that that choke might have been the worst of all time, man. I've been watching this it battle was. shit since. <laughs> right. I've been I've been watching this shit since Party Yardy, man. Rest in peace. You know what I'm yeah. saying? Just when the shit started, and I still to this day. Have never seen a choke that bad, man. That's that's the type of choke where you could just spit any type of thing for the next two rounds. Like that choke in that first round, man. Body, let you, me, man. Let me now, let me had to did that. Let me had to did that. <laughs> I would have exactly, got right? exactly right. Exactly right. So so, so, so I, wa I, I watch this shit unbiased as possible. You feel me? So so after that choke, I was like, okay, that choke was so bad that this man is running uphill on roller skates, bro. Yeah. To get back, you know what I'm saying, and then and then, and then Cal just came deli delivery didn't stutter. He had a little stutter, you know. He had a little stutter, whatever. People started flipping out. That there's a difference between the stutter and a choke. You know what I'm exactly. saying. So I, I so I so I can rock with that, and I'll actually call that body. A, I'll call that a body bag, bro. Man, fuck out of here with all these people talking about. Oh, there was a lot of gas behind Lux, man. You know, and I didn't respect the Lux, man. You know what I mean. So I, I can I get that angle too, but. But but I want like to I take said, it uh, man, I'm not I'm not mad at nobody that was gassing Lux that night because like I said if Jordan came back today and LeBron ran up checking him if he make a, a sloppy ass layup I'm gonna go crazy my nigga because I'm I'm I miss what he did you know what I'm saying and, and your body works sometimes you can't control your mind my nigga you know what I'm saying if you really miss this nigga you really want to see what he got to say shit happens it's just you know what I'm saying. saying? Right, right, man. And I, I got family up in Detroit, man. Shout out to Clinton Township, too, by the way. Thanks, man. I appreciate but, uh, it, man. But, but anyway, man, I, I got one more thing for you, Calico, before I get out of here, man. I want to take you back to the uh, the battle that you had with Mass, right? Uh-huh. Was that a surprise to you? Because, like, it, also to me, that goes down as one of the worst, I mean, not worst battles, but I'll say... 
you bagged this man, like, but he fucked up so bad that it was, I don't know if it was crowd reaction, because he spit some shit that was okay, don't get me wrong. Did, was there a point in that battle where you were, like, disappointed, like, damn, like, the crowd's kind of doing this man wrong, perhaps, like, or, you know what I'm saying? Did, did, did you feel like, okay, damn, I'm doing this man dirty, but then again, you spit the verses, that you knew what you had to spit, right? You weren't worried about how... You know what I'm saying? He wasn't spitting his shit off. He wasn't getting the crowd reaction. Like, did you feel bad for this kid at a point? Or, like, how did that go? I look at it like this. When it's certain niggas that get booed that just deserve to be booed. You know what I'm saying? Like, I told Math, that wasn't Math Hoffa I know that night. You know what I'm saying? It wasn't. He said some shit that, he said some shit that he just supposed to been booed for. Like, Enes. You know what I'm saying? He said some shit that he just supposed to be moved for. And then, like, you got niggas like Verb. Okay, Verb, the first battle, first Summer Man is one. He said some shit that he should have got moved for sometime. You know what I'm saying? He, he said some of the shit that he should have been moved for. Now, that second run, I mean, that second Summer Man is two. I feel like Verb was snapping. I, yeah, he was. Verb should have ever got booed in that second, in that second Summer Man. You know what I'm saying? I don't know what was going on. Don't don't you think Verb did it to himself though? That that but I mean at the end of the day, this shit is a this shit is a we trying to make this shit a sport. You know what I'm saying? Right, right. It's I, a sport. I, it should, I, should I be on tell, ESPN. Yeah, I tell niggas all the time. I even tell my fans, booing is the worst shit that you can ever do because guess what? You helping the nigga that you booing. He can always come with that excuse. You know what I'm saying? The worst shit that a battle, the worst nightmare to a battle rapper. Is silence. You know what I'm saying? When we yeah, rapping and we true. say a punchline that we think we deserve a response and to, and you don't say shit, yeah. that is the worst that's shit for us. Yeah. So when y'all boo us, y'all help us. Y'all don't even know it. Yeah. Booing us is the if we ain't got shit, then we got some weak ass shit. Y'all booing will help the fuck out of us because we can always say y'all boo. If you just set the fuck up and let us be silent and look stupid up there, that's the worst shit you could do to us. Man, I agree. Uh, let's try two six seven. You there? Two six seven. Hello. Yeah. Yo. Yeah, you hear me? Yeah, yeah, we hear you. Hip hop star, what's going on, brother? <laughs> what's good with you? Yes, you eat. What's going on, brother? Your mommy look good, man. Oh, Calico. What's up, man? I remember this guy. What's up? Calico, what's going on, brother? <laughs> I'm a, I'm a big fan of yours, but the last color, him, him, him was a dick rider, man. It's no way you win the battle trio. That's impossible. You know that. Calico, come on, my friend. You know that. You you win the first round. In the second round, y'all go off, but Lordy locks him snap. You understand me? Him snap. So me give, me give Lordy Lux the, the second and the third round, but it was not body bag. It was not body. I mean, you do your I thing, but, you know. I appreciate the thing, man. I appreciate the thing. Give out the work, team. man. Them give out the work. <laughs> so I give out the work. <laughs> <laughs> it wasn't no body bag, though. So, Calico, when you come back, just do your thing. Step it up, man. Step it up. For Real sure, bro. Where are you from? Where are you from? Of Kingston, Jamaica. <laughs> okay, okay. Straight up, man. Yeah. I love y'all in so, Kingston, man. That's our, 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 our okay. African what, Jamaican what, what, women... Well, I love the Mary Jane for you. I love my Africans. I love my Jamaicans, man. Yeah. But see, see, the, the, the problem is uh, when, you, when you battle uh, my Fafa, you was better prepared uh, for him than Lordy Lux. You understand me? You said what? You was, you was, be, you was for, better uh, prepared for, Lo, for my Fafa than Lordy Lux. That, that's a problem. Yeah, yeah. Have. Yeah, that's what I was. That's what I was talking about earlier, man. I, I ain't yeah. have shit like that going on in my life. You know what I'm saying? I, it was it was more than oh, a rap yeah. in my life at the time with with Lux. You know what I'm saying? Baby mama problem. You said what? Yeah, yeah, you have baby mama drama. What what did I go on? You said I couldn't hear you. Yeah, you have baby mama drama. <laughs> Do I have baby mama Girl. drama? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> what happened? <laughs> <laughs> no, I ain't got no, I ain't got no kids, bro. I ain't got no baby mama oh, drama, man. I had, yeah, I had legal they, issues, They weren't giving the pussy that night. All right, cha. Yeah, they weren't giving the pussy that night, <laughs> The whole blocking up, man. You have, to, you have to have, like, three or four of them. You said what? 
Yeah, I'm from I'm like three or four of them. The women them. Okay, okay. I'm, for I'm, I'm buying it for you. That's a lot, son. Eh. Yeah. <laughs> Jamaican girl love get, love to get down, man. <laughs> Jamaican girl love to get down. Where, where, where's our street star Norbs at? Um, he was supposed to show up about 10 minutes ago, oh, but I'm, I'm not sure where he's at. Him tell me if he calls. Oh, I'm telling him if he calls. I'm going to call him and him going to pick up. I'll tell you about shit there, man. <laughs> All right. I'll tell you about, about fucker or not, the street star Norbs. Oh, yeah, definitely. Yeah, All right. Yeah. Make sure you call us back, right. man. All right, then, man. Thanks for the call. Make sure you call us back. Yeah, yeah. All right. <laughs> That guy's hysterical, man. Yeah, he's funny, dude. <laughs> Let's go, uh, 908, you there? Yo. You. Yo, what's good, Cyclone like Jesse Cow? What's good with you? All right, what's good? Hello? Yeah, we here. Yo. Yo. So it was good. Um, Cal, no, I was, I was just, you know, listening in and saying it's good. It's been a minute. Let's say since we heard from you, definitely to hear that you're doing good and everything. Um, I'm pretty much just listening, but I know before you took Lux, you had said um you was going to battle John John, and I don't know if you're still going to do it or not. But I mean, just to add my two cents personally, I think John John is kind of falling off. <laughs> that's a crazy, that's a crazy, uh, that's a good ass question too. Nah, my nigga Hitman Holla took my idea, man. You know what I'm saying? Uh, that's my, that's my bro. He know he, he yeah. know he took my idea. You know my plan before before Lux called me, where it was smack. My plan was to say fuck them old niggas, and just take out all of the young up and coming niggas. Y'all heard me on blog saying that first. I was the first nigga. I called smack and called John John out. Then I was going to the next nigga and the next nigga and the next nigga. Paul, like when Hitman did it, it kind of made me, kind of made me like fuck it now. You know what I'm saying? Because now it's not something. You know what I'm saying? I was the first nigga to say I was going to battle a female. Oh, Red took my idea. It, I was going to do it right then, but when Lux called, it was like for shit I couldn't refuse. I had to take that first. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Nah, I so now I'm not even really your, interested in doing it. What was your feeling on that old Red um, Miss Hustle battle? I think old Red beat her, but that was some shit, though. Like, I feel like CK was some shit that... That was some good ass shit for Miss Hustle. Shout out to Miss Hustle. And no, I didn't eat her pussy. Uh, <laughs> 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 All right, let's try another call. Let's go. Uh, six five one. You there? Yeah, right here. What's good? Hey, uh, hey, Cal, I just had a quick question for you about. Uh, so Lux basically had six years to prepare for you. You know. Uh, <laughs> exactly. <laughs> you, you know what I'm saying? So, so that shit sounds crazy, all, right? Yeah, yeah, I mean, so all the bars that weren't, you know, specifically made for you, like uh, like, like when he's talking about your dad and stuff, uh, but like the other stuff, like uh, like the bio has it and the, and the yeah, definite yeah, and, and yeah, the catches the it. The lean like I mean, a Liz jet. Uh, all yeah. that type of shit was six-year-old bars. <laughs> yeah, I mean, he, he hasn't battled since 106 and Park. So, you know, exactly. I mean... I, I I feel like that's one thing that everybody overlooks, you know. Yeah, he only had the he only had the right one round for me to be honest. Yeah, basically, you know what I'm yeah. saying? So a yeah. lot of people like I don't want to ever seem like I'm crying though. You know what I'm saying? Like that's why when you see the nigga rap before eleven minutes, I let the shit. I, I'm I'm giving Smack the eye, I'm giving Beasley the eye, but I'm not going in front of the whole crowd like, oh he he um. He's going over the time limit, you know what I'm saying? Like, I'm not going to do that because I don't want it to look like, okay, uh, I'm, I'm crying over this shit, you know what I'm saying? So, Do you I, regret I not doing that? Do you regret not doing it? Do I regret not writing longer than three minutes? No, uh, coming on camera and saying. Oh, no, but, no, no, I still don't regret it because the people that's looking at the battle, if they looking at the shit like I'm looking at it, I mean, I put it like this. Give me six years to prepare for anybody. It won't be no filler. It wouldn't be no part in that battle where you'll be bored, ever, if I had hmm. six years to prepare for a nigga. Every single bar is going to be hard-hitting. It's going to be crazy, every bar. Six years? Like, I expect, I just expected more. Out of my last couple battles, I expected more from my opponents, man. You know what I'm saying? Like, 
especially the math shit. Math and Lux, I just expected more from them, man. And people think, a lot of people think, okay, Lux, you shouldn't expect them more. That was enough. Like, to me, as an artist, I don't think that was good. I don't think that was good enough, man. I don't. That wasn't no shit like, that wasn't no shit like he had for Miles. Not to me, it wasn't. Hi right, man, thanks. All right, thanks for the call. So, two by two, you there? Yo, 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 what up, Psycho? What up, Jess? Yeah. What up, Cal? Yo. Yeah, we here. You got a question? Yeah. Hey, yo, Cal. I got a yo, question what's for you. Who, you. who would you say you're the closest to in the Midwest? Like the Sag of Detroit niggas. Oh, uh, Big T, easily. Big T. Yeah, that's my nigga. That's my that's my brother. All right, and what about like New York nigga? But I'm I'm close to everybody though. But Big T is just it's a little different because I you know I moved to Chicago for two years. You know what I'm saying? So mm. all of my niggas was coming down to Chicago like every other weekend and shit. But Big T was a nigga that I got closer to Paul's, you know what I'm saying, because I was in the city and I didn't know shit about Chicago when I moved out there, you know what I'm saying, so he showed me the ropes and, you know, showed me all of that, you know, that's a gang banging ass city, he showed, he showed me, you know what I'm saying, where to go, where not to go, <laughs> you know what I'm saying, yeah. and we did a lot of music down there that y'all should be getting very soon, you know. Alright, alright, that's the only thing I wanted. Alright, that's what's up, thanks for the call. You see Big T got, you know Big T got the studio in his house, man. You see he drop a fucking album every, every day. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Big T do put out a lot of music. Lot yeah, of music. man. I say if, right if now, anybody, <laughs> if anybody deserve this shit, man, if anybody deserve to be on right now, man, Big T, one of them niggas that, he is a hard, his work ethic is incredible. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I think true. Big T deserve this shit right now. You know what, I'm what, what What's your opinion on Big T versus Mickey Fax? How do you think that's going to go now? I think Mickey Fax is going to die in that ring. <laughs> <laughs> and that's not just because that's my nigga, because I'm cool yeah. with Mickey, too. That nigga is just not nothing to play with. Big T ain't nothing to play with, man, I'm telling you, especially after a year. You know what I'm saying? Y'all ain't never saw me after a year, ever. Y'all ain't never saw me prepare for a year. So this, this next battle... This is the longest break they're going to see you coming This is the longest break. break I got, and this wasn't even a year. You know what I'm saying? My next battle, y'all gonna see like what being able to sit and prepare actually does for you. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. All right. Let's go. Uh, eight one two. You there? Yo, what up? What's good? Yo, what's poppin'? Chilling, chilling, chilling. Yo, I was out in Detroit, man. I'm from Indiana, eighty on. But uh, yo. Yeah, I was at the Detroit show, so uh, props to you, man. I've seen you kicking and you're showing love to everybody, so salute to you, salute to Marvel and everybody in the D. And, uh, you already know, man. We appreciate it. Yeah, for sure. Um, I got a couple of questions. One, uh, Zaster was on the show, and he said uh, the cockfighting line wasn't even the last line, and uh, Lord of Lux got booed his last few bars, so I was wondering... Know what you thought of that? Hold on, hold on. Say it again. I couldn't hear you. Disaster was talking about the cockfighting line. That's when uh, the battle ended. He said Loaded Lux got booed because he had more lines after that. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. You know, he got cut. You know, a lot of people see that in this 11 minutes. They don't know that he actually rapped for like 14 minutes. They they cut the camera off on him. Hmm. Right. Like, it was right. way more than that. Mm -hmm. Right. And uh, one more question. Uh, what do you think about uh, Summer Madness always being in New York? Do they, they call it like the Super Bowl of, you know what I mean, battle rap, but the Super Bowl of more other places. You got to move around, you know what I'm saying? And yeah, the drama in New York sometimes, it seems like they need to switch it up. Yeah, man. And the craziest part about this shit, the craziest part about this Calico Loaded Luck situation is, I don't even have a problem. They ask me where I want to battle at. It's always New York. I always want to battle in New York. You know what I'm saying? I don't feel like my next battle will go like that because Loaded Luck was somebody that they wanted to hear, and everybody is not like that. You know what I'm saying? I knew that type of shit was going to happen. 
You know what I'm saying? So right. I still want to go back and battle New York. York. That's the only time you came I out do. here and didn't really get like like well I can't they actually felt you for a second so I can't say you got booed the whole time or nothing it wasn't a hate bird yeah. situation but that's the first time you actually got negative feedback out here right yeah yeah the first time mm-hmm. so I'm not right. I'm not running from New York at this point I that's the place like the best place in the world to battle is New York to me. First of all, it would be Detroit, but, you know, the first thing you get when you battle in Detroit is, oh, he did that because he was at home, or he, the only reason he had a good performance is because the crowd was with him. Like, I don't like that. That's why I love battling in New York, no matter what. I want my next ten battles to be in New York. I don't think the crowd, I don't I don't dislike New York because of that. You will never hear me diss in New York. You know what I'm saying? I love New York, and no matter what they do, no matter how they play me at any event. I still got love for New York. You know what I'm saying? I'm still going to do my thing. I'm going to go hard regardless. Hey, one more thing. Uh, your battle with GE in St. Louis, is that ever coming out? or? I hope it comes out. I fucked them up. <laughs> right. Right, cause I was at their show also because, you know what I mean, I was wanting to see if that, you know what I mean, just... Yeah, yeah, because it's a lot of bars in that battle that I want to... If it don't come out, shit, I want to go to Smack and, and look at the footage so I can take the bars. <laughs> <laughs> right. right. That's what's up, man. Salute to you, Calico. Salute to Metal Rap Arena. That's what's up. ADO and Under Ended Indiana. You already know. Landslide, nigga. Right. Thanks for the call. Let's go. 704, you there? 704. Yeah, we hear you. Calico, what's up? Yo, who this? This last live first lady on Instagram, S Twitter. You know I'm like your number one fan, right? Last slide, baby. Yes, you <laughs> already know. I only have a couple of comments to make. I don't really have no questions. Number one, how the hell do they expect you to rap and you looking at your own obituary? No man should ever have to look at their own obituary. That was just fucked up, to, in my opinion. I didn't like yeah, that. Yeah, that was crazy. At all. Nobody should ever have to do that. Um, number two. I would like to know when your next battle is going to be and where it's going to be if I can get my tickets early. Because I'm it's trying to see you in person. You're trying to see me in person, huh? Hey, it's going to be. And tell the boy, I said, what's up? Because I like I know y'all personally. It's going to be in April. And it's, mm-hmm. it's, I don't know exactly the location right now. I don't know the location right now. You got to check with Smack. Keep hitting Smack Twitter. Keep hitting Smack Instagram. Yo, why, do, why does Calico sound mad scared right now? <laughs> Come on, man. Y'all know the reason why my first... Hey, man. Listen, man. Y'all know the reason why my first Instagram got shut down, man. Because I'm a wild boy. <laughs> I, ain't never... I, ain't never of... hey, I ain't never been scared of no pussy, my nigga. <laughs> hey, hey y'all... Y'all... I can do have one more question for you. You ready? What's up, baby? Well, delicious ass is soft as it looks. Because I need to know this. Delicious ass is beautiful. I can't. Add, I can't. Answer, was, oh, oh, I was like, damn, get off my nigga. I can't. I can't answer no more further questions about delicious. All right. But anyway, I'll be checking up on you to make sure when the next battle will be, so I can get my tickets in advance and keep on doing. All right. Today. Last slide, baby. Mm-hmm. Thanks, thanks for the call. All right, let's go. Uh, Five eight five, you there? Five eight five. Yep. Go three one three, you there? Three one three, what up? What up though? What's good? Hello. What up though? You know a yeah, Detroit nigga come in like what up though? Oh, you already know how it is. Hello. Yeah, we What's hear you. Oh, yeah. So what up, though? What up, though? What up, though? What up, though? <laughs> hey, look. I got a question. All right, now. I seen a uh, video on YouTube a couple months back where you and, um, what's his name? Tech Nine was talking about battling. Y'all niggas. See, you got to pay attention to these blogs, though, when you watch them, my nigga. You never saw me saying I'm going to battle Tech Nine. You saw Tech oh, Nine yeah, saying yeah. you want to battle me. You know what I'm saying? No, I'm not going to battle Tech Nine. The nigga is horrible. He's <laughs> a wacky fuck. Hey, you heard his, um, his diss? He made the, um, what's his name now? 
That nigga, that nigga whack, man. Nigga, he might try to get up the cold, man. <laughs> ah, shit. Hey, but look, this is a real, this some real nigga shit. I was gonna tell you because um, this shit happened to me a couple, couple months ago. I sent the shit on you on Twitter, but I don't think you read it. So, uh, what? game. Now, I'm from the city, right? I was walking over uh -huh. in Brightmo at uh, the G station okay. over there on um, out of drive and uh, Schoolcraft on 96. Okay. So Peep came. I'm um BP. I hear you. The BP. Uh yeah, that's the BP right there. Yes. So yeah. I walked to the gas station. That's right. Not, um, that's it's like maybe. I hear you. Go ahead. I'm walking from. I'm walking to the gas station. It's like one o'clock in the morning. I'm walking okay. up to the gas station. Two niggas ran up on me. Right. Uh. -huh. So it's about to ride me. My phone run. Now, my phone ringtone is, uh, what's that song, Eat? The song you wrote, Eat, right? Yeah, my, so, my song, Eat? Yeah, they sticking me up, and my phone ring. So I'm like, damn. So they're like, damn, that's my nigga. I don't know if that was your niggas or not, but they're like, damn, that's my nigga Calico. I'm like, that. I'm like, you fuck with that nigga? I'm like, yeah, but don't rob They still rob me, but they let me keep my phone. Down. <laughs> I'm like, damn. <laughs> they still rob me, but they let me keep my phone. Now, I'm, like, I'm going to tell you something. <laughs> I'm going to tell you some real shit about that situation right there. The little niggas I fuck with, they don't really give a fuck about nothing, all right? So them probably was my niggas that robbed you, and I apologize. I see, and I'm like, God damn. I'm like, well, at least they let me keep, at least they let me keep his phone. Why is he walking? Why is you walking oh. to the gas station at, at 1 o'clock in the morning in Brightmo? Why? <laughs> oh, some dumb shit. Man, I was hungry or thirsty or something. I forgot what I was doing. Well, like, man, I you can't, if, you know nobody over there, if you don't know nobody over there, you can't do that, man. Oh, yeah, I know people over there. You know, I stayed over in Brightmo for a while over there on Finkel and um, Finkel and um, Burt Road. So, you know, like, I know some people over there, but, you know, I went known like that, and I was, you know, Walking and shit, I'm like, man, I ain't got a bitch. Yeah, but, man, you learned your you learned your lesson that night, man. Don't learn. Now look, look, hey, look, so many people, look, so many, so many people say I set up the little trick, trick shit and all that. It's probably some motherfuckers that's calling in right now, thinking I just set this phone call up too because the nigga from my city. What? Just no, like I said no. about the trick, just like I said about the trick, trick shit. If you don't believe me, you walk your ass to the gas station at one o'clock in the morning and break right. And I, I ain't saving anybody, no nigga. Anybody need to walk, walk, try that shit. Try the same shit I try. Don't even be funny. <laughs> don't even funny for not. Try that shit I do. You set yourself up a disaster. <laughs> I, 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 I do, do kind of like that they let me keep, uh, let a nigga keep his phone though. That shit. I appreciate you, man. I, but uh, you know, I folks with you. I, uh, when we gonna hear something new? I got the problem. I listen to uh, what's that? Living in my city every morning. Like that's my get up to get ready to go do my work songs. You feel me? The interest, like, uh, the interest coming in April. The interest coming in April, man. I had a fan that tweeted me and said, "Man, I need some new music from you. I heard the problem so many times that I got the solution." <laughs> oh shit! I ain't got no solution, but I heard the problem so many damn times. I just. I know it word for word. I just try to listen to the shit. I, I, can, I can go every word in my mind. <laughs> you a funny nigga, man. <laughs> I, I'm, I'm bullshitting, though. <laughs> like, I, I, I look up for everything. Hey, hit me on Twitter, man. man. I'm about to follow you. Hit me on Twitter, man. I'm about to follow you back. I'm uh, on, 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 on Twitter. I'm a uh, pro at home. Uh, Mac, uh, Rocky MacNeezy. I'm about to, uh, I'm on just, Twitter now. You keep me right now. Yeah, like, uh, I, I'm about to teach you now. But yeah, I had to tell you that shit, like, man, look, like, you know, I, I ain't gonna say it was your niggas, but I'm like, damn, man, man that was some crazy ass shit. <laughs> that was some crazy shit. No, no, like, no more walking to the gas station at one in the morning, man. Oh, I got it. I got, and you know what the bad, worst part about it is? I had a car. I was just on some, <laughs> some, some, some other shit. <laughs> <laughs> like, I got a car. I got a car, nigga. I was doing some other shit. I don't know what the fuck I was doing. I'm like, I'm about to walk over to the gas station thinking everything was going to go uh, all smooth and shit. And uh, that's what happened. And I, I, mean, I believe in the Detroit my whole life, so I know how this shit go around here. But you know what? 
thinking I knew thinking I knew somebody over there, I thought I was gonna be safe. <laughs> hey, I just go and show you, man. Hey, nigga, dirty out here. <laughs> hey, man, tweet me, man. Good caller. Thanks yeah. for calling in, man. Yeah, oh, thanks for the call. All right, that was funny. Man, that nigga was funny <laughs> as hell. <laughs> Let's go uh, 215. You there? Is really? Me? me. Yo. Yeah, what's good? Just eating that. What's up, psycho? Hold on, man. Yeah, man, I just want to say something to Calico real quick, man. What's poppin'? Yo, Kyle, what's up, man? Like, at the end of the day, I look at it like this, you know what I mean? Even if you do think you beat Lux, like, at the end of the day, you sh it's an honor that that man shared the stage with you. But at the end of the exactly. day, you know, like, no disrespect, like, I, I like you cool, but you haven't put in enough work to get no loaded Lux. You think so? Yeah, I think so. Did you hear my first round? Or was that yeah, my I heard round? your first round. I went from newborn to Lux in a year. I make history. All right, but 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 what 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 work have you put in to get loaded Lux? What work have loaded Lux put in to get me? No, for no, loaded Lux is a legend. He's he's a legend. He's a vet. He came How back many battles you like it don't matter. Lord and Lux's way Lord and Lux's name was way bigger than you when he didn't battle in ten years. I agree. When before Lord and Lux battled me, he had he had three thousand followers on Twitter, my nigga. Okay, I, yeah, I deleted, true, you're right. I got I got listen, I got one page deleted with twenty thousand followers and I'm back at twenty four thousand followers right now. What did Lux do for me? I did this for Lux. Think about it, my nigga. L L bottom line, Lux got you three million views on YouTube. What battle have no, you done that got a million views? I, did you, did, did, have you ever did a million views? Lux did that by himself? Uh, he, yeah, he did it. So Lux, so, so Lux was the reason why me and K-Shine... Listen, listen. So Lux was the reason me and K-Shine had a million views before me and Lux battle even dropped, right? Before me I and Lux even battled. had a million views. Right. He was the reason why me and Arsenal was at a million views too, right? All right, but like, but like, who, who you bet you bet? The reason why me and O'Red is on a UW with 600,000 views, right? 600,000, come on, Verb, man. Like, he the reason why A-Verb and Hitman is on 2 million, right? He the reason why A-Verb and, I mean, why Arsenal and Hitman is on 2 million, right? He the reason why Conceded and Arsenal is on 6 million, right? We you did name it, top ten niggas. Who, they always did numbers like that. That's what I'm explaining to you. It's not the legends, my nigga. It's us. They ain't shit. With they, this shit was dead until we until we picked it up, my nigga. We gave I it mean, all I'm like, saying, they, like I said, man, all, all I'm saying is that Loaded Lux didn't need you. You needed Lux. Why? Why Lux did I need Lux? Lux? Like then like another couple of people gonna say that was the worst choke. To me, Lord of Luck's the best. That was the second worst choke, the worst choke in the history of Battle Rap. You can't compare that shit to a canvas. This nigga put out a fucking notebook. <laughs> Our niggas calling these shows disrespecting Lux, man. Real right. Niggas gonna say that hey. was the worst choke in the history of Battle Rap. How much, how much, how, how much money? Battle Rap, it's a shame what Battle Rap has come to, man, for real. It, it is a shame. It's a shame when you can come back and make 14, and, and make damn near $10,000 on a name that you had, yeah, it, it is a shame when I'm putting in no work. You know what I'm saying? When when I'm going hard, damn near eight battles in one year, and you telling me I ain't put enough work in to get a nigga that ain't battled nothing but twice, that's a shame. You got damn right, that's a shame. No, you, to me, you haven't, you ain't put in enough work to get no loaded Lux. What else do you got to do? You, you, you ain't got enough work to get battle. no Lux, not to me. So what's, a, so what's enough work to battle Lux? I got to battle you? Like I said, it's an honor that, that you, you, you got to respect. It's an honor that Lux let you share the stage with him. Because he could have turned you hey. down. Hey, what the fuck? Okay, okay. Who, de who deserved the battle with Lux? It's not Calico. To me, I, top niggas. Calico cool. not better than no motherfucking um, Hollow to Dime. That's who niggas you really wanted to see. And y'all know that's who niggas wanted to see at Summer Madness, too.
Nigga don't want to see no who? Kyle Cohen Lux. So who is your top tier niggas then? Top tier? We we talking Lux. If I'm not top tier, T Rex. Just like come on, man. Way. Like you're not on no, you're not on T Rex and them level. If if I'm not top tier, Jesse need to hang up on you. All right, well, hey, yo, you're not top tier, dog. You're not top tier. Yeah, yo, you don't they, do yo, numbers they, on YouTube. They, they, you don't they do numbers. They, 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 you battle niggas who you battle top niggas to get your numbers. Hey, thanks for calling in. Um, hey, hey, you have a, you, I understand where you're coming from, man, and I appreciate your opinion and everything, man, but I think you need to look at shit from a different point of view, man. You know what I'm saying? Them niggas, them niggas was coming to battles with written raps, man, for mixtapes. I don't think that's putting in work, my nigga. You know what I'm saying? When I'm going three months straight studying for a nigga, got to sit up all night and craft these rounds perfectly for a person, a specific person, that's my fucking work right there. That's putting in work, my nigga. So if you don't feel like I put in work in 2012 or 2011, then I don't know what to tell you, man. And I appreciate it, though, even though I, I appreciate the fact that you looked at the battle. Even if it was just for Lux, you contributed to my success. You know what I'm saying? So I appreciate any opinion that you got. You know what I'm saying? And we got to agree to that. Yeah, it ain't about no else. So, what you oh, man, like, I, I respect what you do. Keep doing your thing, bro. For sure, right. bro. Thank you. Thanks for the call. Let's go. Um, A62, you there? Eight six two. Let's go. Five one seven. You there? Yeah. Hey Kyle, would you ever uh, battle uh, daylight? Would I battle daylight? Yeah. After this, do you after think this he, battle, he that competition. I, I think daylight is a joke, man. He's a he's a funny guy, but you know, if that money right, that check right, man, I damn near battle anybody after the opponent that I got coming up next. I would have uh -huh. battled Daylight now until I got that call for this person that I'm going to battle. You know what I'm saying? And they, like I said, I'm tired of keeping it a secret. It will come out soon. You know what I'm saying? Y'all going to see a blog drop on URL or something, and y'all going to see the two. You're going to see the opponent, you know. So, yeah, I will battle damn near any one of these niggas, man. Just to hey, show I, niggas. I, I, know, I know you're battling for the paper, but I'm saying, do you feel Daylight worth battling? Like, um, far as competition. No, nah, I think he tried too hard for his punchlines. Okay. I think he have a couple nice punchlines, crazy, incredible punchlines, but most of them be some shit that I would have never said. Okay, all right. That's what's up. Good luck, bro. But he, he all right, though. He all right. That's what it's called. And let me tell all the fans out there, Calico is one of the funniest motherfuckers ever standing around when somebody else is battling. Uh, I was, we, when you was at the Proving Ground some madness weekend, and I forgot who was, um, I think it was Johnny Alcatraz. You was killing him. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. You were killing him in the crowd. Oh, I was fucking That uh, nigga got that tongue ring in his mouth, man. I don't understand how. Yeah, he is. That last nigga was right. Battle, I don't know what battle rap came to. A nigga can sit up there and battle with a tongue ring in his mouth. That's the shit he should have been talking about. Not me not being <laughs> able to battle Lux. Me battling Lux has, has a shit on a nigga with a tongue ring battling. Oh, uh, man, that shit is funny. Let's go 708. You there? Yeah, hello? Yeah, what's good? Nope. What up, what up? I just want to say what up, Cal, what up, Psycho, what up, Jesse? Um, quick, the, the dude was talking about the whole Lux situation about not putting in work, this and that. It, it just it just sounds kind of crazy because if, if you battle on a regular basis, that's that's putting in enough work. And, and, and these exactly. legends, they get, almost, they get almost too much respect off of what they did and they don't get they don't get judged enough off of what they're doing now, and that, and that, like, that's how we really what's, what's a nigga? What's a nigga that was a millionaire in '93? You know what I'm saying? Like, what's a nigga that's broke now that was a millionaire in, in 1993? You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't never understand. Like, I I I get the respect that you're supposed to pay. You know what I'm saying? All that, but after so long, my nigga, like. I don't nobody really give a fuck about what they did. You know what I'm saying? Because well, whether you like it or not, almost. whether you like it or not, Smack and URL is totally different, my nigga. When they was battling on Smack, I was battling in the hood, doing the same shit they was doing. They wasn't getting paid. They wasn't. They wasn't crafting rounds for each other. They was battle versus from mixtapes. You know what I'm saying? 
Mm -hmm. so I true, true. And, um, no, man. I, got, I, I got two quick questions. I got two quick questions. The first one uh -huh. is, what's, what's, what's good with QP? QP is QP is one of my favorite battle rappers to ever battle. I just don't think he's well, prepared so enough. What, 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 where he built he been at? Oh, oh, he's still he's he still he has the money bags battle coming up. Yeah, okay. he's still around. He battle okay. he money bags. Yeah, uh, he's gonna lose them, but no, he's gonna lose the money bags. <laughs> then my second question yes, is this: Yes, he is, quick. but. Because uh, oh, today you, I, I was just you wondering. Serious, dog? <laughs> you can't be serious, so, dog. Today <laughs> I was just going through old. I was going through old, um, uh, like battles and stuff. And I remember, um, Snap did like a little little commercial in the beginning of a video, talking about the whole uh, conceited and ill battle. I know folks still waiting for that. I just want to ask y'all: Do y'all feel like? That time almost passed. Like those punch lines are gonna be dated when it does. Hell be, no. it's that, be a that's little. a great question. Um, if you was there, you would know. Hell no. Uh, Saka, you want to handle it? What was the question? I said, like everybody's still waiting for that conceited and uh, and young ill battle, and that took place almost a year ago. Yeah. Like. Yeah. I, I feel like it should almost be released now, just regardless, because like those punch lines are gonna be a little bit dated. Well, I feel like they might be dated, because they both talk about current events. To my knowledge, it, I think I think they plan on releasing it. I can't give you no dates or nothing, but I do believe it's planning on being released. So, to, to my knowledge, so yeah, but, just, but, just keep but on looking out for it. No, right, but, but do, do you feel like? Is gonna lose an effect by it being so long and the material being old, or you think it's still gonna be I fresh? It. I doubt it. I, 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 well, I especially with conceited. I mean, conceited punches too much. I mean, <laughs> I doubt if it, any right, of it right, be dated. But, right, but, but I mean, but you know how they they throw in those sport lines, like how Sue Surf just did that whole little line about Howard back to the block, blah blah blah. Yeah, hey, you know, so he do five from last year. It's like okay, the lockout been over, you know what I'm saying, Chris Paul been with the Clippers, like, you know what I'm saying, it's a little bit old. Yeah, I see what you're saying. Yeah. But, that's yeah. Just, you know, you're gonna but you still going to appreciate the bars, the bars. like, I mean, I know when I watch old battles, I still appreciate the bars, even though they, you know, the old bars, I still appreciate yeah, it, like, it was brand new. True, true. But, All right, y'all, I appreciate it. All right, thanks for the call. All right, let's take, um, what do you want to take, one, two calls tomorrow, or? Calico, you want to take one or two more callers? Yeah, yeah, take two more. Two more? All right. Yeah. All right. Let's go, um, let's see, 718, you there? <laughs> 718. All right. Let's go 786, you there? Let's go. Eight six three, you there? Yo. Yeah. Yo, what up? Yo, what up, Cal? What's poppin'? Um, I I got um two questions for you. Number one, um, is do you feel any difference from la um Summer Man is one when you battle math? To uh, when you battle Lord Lux last year, I mean, what was the? That's major a great difference? question. That's a great question. <clears throat> you know, what I'm saying like, what was the major difference? You know, what I'm saying between Math and Lux for you. The same shit would have happened to Math if he would have battled Lux. We was too relevant at the time. You know what I'm saying? I feel like they wanted something that they hadn't seen in a long time, and that's what they got. Rather, if he, it, it, it didn't matter if he went up there and said, "Hippy, hippy, hip hop, don't, don't stop, rock it to the bang, bang, boogie to up, jump to the boogie to the boogie to the boogie to beat." You gonna get this work. <laughs> <laughs> you know well, I mean, the reason, the, 
the the reason why I asked that question was because I actually watched both battles. You know what I'm saying? I was actually, you know what I'm saying, recapping one night myself. And I actually watched um, both battles. And I noticed there was a major difference. And I and I kind of feel like when you watch both of them, you can see that, you know what I'm saying, in one, there was a, a more hungrier base calico because Summer Man is the first one on the stage, crowd going crazy, and, you know what I'm saying, math. Think, well, you know, it, it was math. Total, I think the total opposite, man. I think I was more hungry in the Lux battle. But smiling in that battle, I wasn't I wasn't playing, I wasn't joking, you know what I'm saying? Like that that that, that math battle was more of comfortable. I was comfortable, you know what I'm saying? Was, that's what you saw. You didn't see more hunger, you saw more I was more comfortable because I didn't have to deal with no casket coming out. Look at myself on a that, that's, the reason, that's the reason why I said that too. I mean, it wasn't just because of that. I think it was more because of the simple fact that, okay, Math released that this song. You know what I'm saying? You was like, again, you was hungry. You know what I'm saying? Like you just had the battle with K Shine. You know what I'm saying? Not too long ago, before that, um, Summer Madness, and you know what I'm saying? Like it was just that compared to like last year when I was looking at, you know what I'm saying? The Summer Madness. I'm not going to sit here and say that Lloyd Lux did not do his thing on that, but I'm not going to sit here and say that if it wasn't because of all the antics that was prior to that, that it probably would have been something that, and plus the situation that you was dealing with, you know what I'm saying, you know, which ain't whatever, you know what I'm saying, that I think right. that kind of had like too much stuff on your head. So that's something I noticed, you know what I'm saying, that that's, you know, I'm yeah, it was crazy. It was, crazy. it was crazy preparing for that battle. It was crazy, man. You know, going to court, being all on the news. You know, my phone ringing a million times a day because, you know, what I'm saying people wanted to find out what the hell news. was going on and shit and all that yeah, kind of stuff. You know what I'm yeah. Not to mention my, my pops. I, I gotta, I gotta figure out a way to calm my pops down. My pops are going through the magazine while he in prison. You know, what I'm saying he going, he he about to get ready for bed and look in the magazine at Hip Hop Weekly and see me in there. Talking about mm. facing 13 years, you know what I'm saying? That shit crazy. You know what I'm saying? My pops yeah. calling me, like, what the fuck is going on? I got to figure out a way to calm him down. You know what I'm saying? So, the shit was crazy, man. My grandma just passed. You know what I'm saying? My that grandma going cool. through the same shit. My grandma, my grandma's sick in the hospital, my nigga, worrying about what I'm going to do. You know what I'm saying? She died while I'm in the middle of my case. You know what I'm saying? So, it was a lot going on, man. You know? And, and and the other question, you know, saying that I got, and I, you know, I do apologize for that. But you know, saying the other question that I got is, um, you know, how other rappers are expanding, you know, saying to different battle leagues and whatnot. If you actually have one battle league that you actually say, well, I got to hit this up, which battle league would it be? And if you had an opponent with it, who would it be? You saying other than Smack? Yeah, other than Smack, you know, saying and whatnot. Um, I definitely want to go fuck with King of the Dot. Definitely. Anybody in particular you'll be looking to battle with him over there? It really, it really don't matter. Like, I wouldn't, I wouldn't care. I just want to see what that Toronto crowd is like. You know, it, it looks, it looks kind of, I, I like the Toronto crowd because a nigga can, it goes back to the days where you can stumble over a word and niggas don't say anything. You know what I'm saying? Like, a choke and a stumble, that's two different things. And, and I feel like that King of the Dot crowd understands the difference. Yeah. And they show mm -hmm. love to everybody. No matter who who it is, they show love to everybody. Yeah. All right, let's go. 317, you there? Yeah, what's up, y'all? Oh, what's good? Finally. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I just wanted to say that I love the show. Y'all be having me dying. I love Cal. He's definitely top five. And right. the dude Hold that called calling? and talked to me. Huh? Hold on. Who's calling first? Uh, it's A underscore Marie underscore S22 on Twitter. Anna Marie. Hey, baby. <laughs> What's up? <laughs> so, yeah, who said that, that Cal needed Lux, but what I don't understand is everybody was talking about Cal before the battle. Everybody knew who he was. I mean, everybody knew who Lux was, too, but nobody was talking about him. So how how does Cal need Lux when Lux wasn't relevant? You know what I mean? Like, and 
I don't understand anything he was saying. Like, that shit didn't make no sense until I got... <laughs> I'm so serious I've seen his video where he was, like, explaining his shit. I didn't understand nothing he was talking about. Even in his explanation, he... You know you know what he said on a lot of the things? I don't think Lux understood himself. Because he said so many times, well, <laughs> that's self-explanatory. And then he go to the next thing and he say, well, that's self-explanatory. Then he go to the next thing like, no, it's not self-explanatory, nigga. Explain it, nigga. <laughs> right. And he had to explain them near all his lines. They hyping him way too much. Like, uh, I don't get that. It don't make no sense to me. So you had a cow go winning? <laughs> Yeah, because, uh, I, I mean, if you got to explain everything, I mean, nah, I'm I'm not fucking with what, like, mm -mm. and the shit he pulled was first up to me. What the we all know, man, we, we ain't going to keep touching that, we already know. Right, the Jumbotron, all that, that, that was, that was stupid. Okay. And I was in there fighting with one arm and, and the other one tied behind my back. <laughs> but yeah, that's all I wanted to say. Keep doing your thing. Right. Thanks, baby. We appreciate it. Last slot. Yeah, Thank cool. We actually got one last call of three four seven with the ones at the end. Can you put them through? Three four seven. Three four seven. You there? Yo, yo. What's up, guys? What's good? New York. What up? Yo, what up? Yo, Calico. I was the dude who tweeted you that night that Lux was on Battle Rap Arena and then got you on the line. I got on the line. Oh, I'm gonna sound oh, like an oh, asshole. Oh, 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 before the battle, before the battle. Yeah, thanks. Yeah. I appreciate it, man. Where, where, where? Yo, my question for you, man, is, uh, yo, if you ha if if Smack did another like event that was themed on Legends, and you had to battle another Legend, who would you choose? I think I'd be battling. Um, if he had another like Legends versus, yeah, I think. I think I will have to battle, um... Mook? It'll have to... Nah, nah, nah. It'll have to be... Uh... I don't know, man. I'll have to go with, um, John, John, and Don or Daylight. No, Legends, he said. I'm the Legend, my nigga. <laughs> <laughs> Word. Well, I, I, old, yeah, old, I respect school, that, G. Old I respect school battle that, rappers. Old school battle rappers. Oh, uh, it'll have to be. I know everybody want to see me versus Mook, man. But I feel like the best performer of the night that was a legend, so-called legend, was... I like the way Sirius Jones transformed, man. I, I, think, he, yeah. I think he came back nice. Word. But, but I'd rather want... Um, I'd, I'd rather have Mook or Cassidy or, or you know, a Jay Mills or something like that. Right. Jay Mills definitely, but um, Cassidy definitely too. I would definitely want to see Jay Mills. Do, do you think Jay way. Mills could come back and perform, or do you think he would want to be a disappointment? Uh, he would be a disappointment, I think. You think so? Yeah, I think uh, he'd be a disappointment. Psycho, your thoughts? Uh, hey, I'm on the borderline nice. with he that was one. Nice. I, I was, I was a real big Jay Mills fan. Like I, I'm on the borderline yeah, now. I'm too. Um, I, I'm not sure. He, he did a lot of freestyling, so I'm not in. Um, I'm not sure if that if he could translate. If some people could. Some people could freestyle on the stage and get it off. I'm, I know, but that and, shit changed after being shelf for ten years. Yeah. Yeah. So it, it's hard to tell. I'm no. I, I'm on the fence with him. I uh, mean, he I, I would like, I, I would like to see. I would like to see him that. get the chance to do it though. Yeah, I would too. He probably would make more money than he making a young money. So hold on, are are you calling out J Mills right now on Battle Rap Arena? <laughs> I'm, calling out, I'm calling out Meek Mills. Mm. Meek, all right. That's, what's up. that's all a right. nigga. That's a nigga right there. He, but I didn't mention him because he was a y'all said legends. But that's a nigga. <laughs> like, that's a nigga right there that has been irking my soul, man. You got a problem with um these? Industry cats talking about they want to, you know, step into the ring. Let me tell you my biggest, my biggest problem with these industry niggas is this. Every nigga want to act like, okay, we need to set it up or I get in the ring if this or if that. My nigga, 
Y'all niggas have net worths over $2 million. You know what I'm saying? Y'all niggas is worth all of this money. Don't you know one phone call to smack to get this shit on the roll and get a date for it today? <laughs> like, why? What, what's the what's the hold up? Like, I'm not mad at y'all if y'all don't battle. I understand y'all making y'all money on the road, y'all y'all doing music, okay. But don't talk about it. Don't don't try to get fame off of us because you about to drop an album. You know what I'm saying? Don't yeah. go dissing niggas talking about you a battle with nigga, this, that, and the other, knowing you not. Just because you know this shit is hot right now. It ain't take for me to see Diddy to be talking about battling. You know what I'm saying? All these niggas, you got, even, like, it sounds like I'm taking up for Cassidy right now, but I'm not. You know what I'm saying? How the fuck you gonna get mad at Meek Mill for what he's doing to you, my nigga, and you did the same thing to Moot? Not saying that it's right for for mm -hmm. Meek to be doing that. Meek shouldn't be doing that, but he just getting what he what he what he dished out. He did the same thing to Moot, my nigga, and that shit that shit gay. Mm -hmm. wow. Ain't no way I'ma keep saying ain't no way I'ma keep saying I beat the shit out of a nigga. You know what I'm saying? I I beat a nigga ass and this and other and then don't do it when I see him, you know what I'm saying? Just keep talking about or oh, what I what I could do if I was to fight a nigga. You know what I'm saying? Like, where I'm from, nigga, if you going to say you're going to kill a nigga in a battle, set the shit up. Ain't nobody going to turn down a battle for me. He can battle any nigga in the URL right now if he wanted to. Any nigga in the world right now if he wanted to. You know what I'm saying? I agree. So, some madness not, was a while ago, so, and he tweeted right after exactly, some madness. So you would think. Exactly. It, it should was, be so easy to set it up. You know what I'm saying? Like, you want to keep talking about it. Cassidy just gave you 10 minutes of rap on a, on a fucking raid This. That's a that's yeah. that's that's a battle. I'm not saying that's what you think about that. What do you like think about that song? I think he went in, but he ain't ready for us though. He killed me, but he, he ain't ready for us. Do you think that? Do you think the bars would have translated with no beat? Man, hell no. Some of that shit, not 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 in the URL, man. That's a different league. I be trying to tell niggas they think it's that easy to get in that ring. I wonder how many times he got punched in while he was doing that song. I wonder how many times he fucked up and had to start from where he left off. You know what I'm saying? We got to do that shit live in front of all of these people, my nigga. You can't tell me that that's not a hard job. They wonder why you get paid so much money. Yo, Calico, if you could, we got one more call for you. Uh, Nate Trace from the magazine asking us to put him on uh, 646-918. Nate, what's good? Yo, what's good, fam? Calico, what up? What up, everybody? What's poppin'? All right, what's good? What's poppin'? Yo, all right, I'm on here, and as I'm on here, I just got a, I just got a, a, a tweet, or you know, a group tweet, and this nigga just called you out. Uh, daylight, cause daylight, they they was talking about him and Big K battling, so he just writes on here and said, "Fuck that Big K battle." Smack set up me versus Calico. No set. Wow. So let me go ahead and, and, and throw that out there live on air that um daylight, you know, is um is called he, he doesn't want to battle Big K. He wants to, to cancel that and go straight for Calico. Calico, how you feel about that? <laughs> daylight, daylight, daylight. You talking about the nigga that just made the song about smoking out his bitch foot? <laughs> daylight, Ca Cal California, California A, daylight. Yes, sir. Mister Crip, daylight, daylight. Yeah, daylight, man. Tell, tell, I told yeah. daylight almost three, four months ago, man. Go and scrape up some cash, and I will beat your ass. I already told him that. I, I will, I will battle him. I will kill daylight, man. Well, I mean, he's he's asking Smack to set it up, so we all know that the check is, you know what I'm saying, the check is in the mail, so that, you know, that's the cash picked up right there. I got some shit set up. Tell him he can get in line, uh -huh. practice a little bit, and all then right. we, can, well, he, we can set the, well, we can this, set the this date now. Well, this is Ed now, so everybody's, retwe everybody's tweeting it as we speak, and, and I, you know what I'm saying, I shout the message, I'm shooting the message to him as soon as we get over here. And he going to hit himself. I will, himself listen, on the I will battle daylight. I will battle daylight in California. I will come in to Cali, California. Right. That's what it is. Man. We can do it. We can do it. He not going. Right. Niggas know, man. That that. First of all, you can't battle me with some of. You can't battle me with my shit, man. You can't battle me 
like you a goon, my nigga. That's what I do for real. You know what I'm saying? We love vacations. Me and my niggas love vacations. Look at me. You think all them niggas be flying? No. Them niggas be them, them niggas be getting out there the best way they can. Couple niggas fly, couple niggas don't. And they gonna also get to Cali. That ain't too far, my nigga. We ain't gotta go for no water. Do, do you map. feel like he, do you feel like he said it to get attention or do you feel like he yeah, said it? Of course, of course that's why he said it. And he's gonna get the attention fucking with Calico. He's gonna get that attention that he's looking for. I or, or, I or, or do you think he really means it? No, he know he can't beat me. Daylight is a huge fan of mine. Trust me. He's a great he's a he's a great supporter. He supports everything I do. Y'all don't pay attention to his Twitter. I'm ninety percent of his tweets. <laughs> Come on, Daylight. Get that money together, man, and we can do it. That's crazy. Definitely not to holler at Noah to see what he's talking about, but yeah, that'll be a crazy battle. Daylight is a funny guy. Daylight really have a problem. That's what people don't know. <laughs> <laughs> That's Daylight Jesse ain't got boy a right there. Be careful what you say about Daylight. That's Jesse Boy. <laughs> I'm saying he got a tattoo on his face, Jesse. Come on, man. <laughs> <laughs> yo, 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 Jess. He trying to... Hold on, hold on. He asking for the battle rapper. Yo... Yo, y'all, you going y'all gonna buzz him in? What y'all trying to do? He, he, he trying to call in. Oh, this is the Calico the show Calico. tonight. Oh wow, so we're the Calico. We're Calico ending in like a minute. Buzz him in. Come in. All right, buzz him in. What's, what's the number? What's the number? What's the number? Listen, before Three, you buzz him in, I got something to say. Before you buzz him in. Hello. Yeah. 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 Is, is daylight listening right? That the guy that's trying to buzz him in is he listening? Yeah. Yeah. Listen, daylight. Before you get buzzed in, my nigga, do not come on this phone on some street tough shit, please. I'm begging you, my nigga. I don't have no problems with nobody in this battle rap shit so far. Do not come in this battle. Don't don't come in this battle rap arena shit on some tough shit. Keep it rap, my nigga, and we can go from there. Please do not hit the light switch, my nigga. Let's go. Well, well, hold on. He he, he calling in. Just just he's calling in. You, what's his area right call? now? Yeah, what's his area? Um, hold on, hold on, hold on. I don't know. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. So, Jess, what's your feeling about this battle? Being as your boy, you know. Calico. I mean, daylight's my homie. I'm I'm going with I'm going with daylight. <laughs> That's that's real, Jesse, man. You was going with math too, man. We good, man. <laughs> <laughs> that's a good one. Jesse, a funny dude. Nah, yo, yo tell you the yo, truth, yo, yo, I do. Cal, yo, about, I like Calico. He do that uh -huh. king of the dot. He got that king of the dot going on. What about getting him over in Canada? He got that connection with the connect with, with the with the king of the dot league. Why not take him over there across the border? Who got who got a connection with King of the Dot? Daylight. I mean, if I'm able to, you know, like I be telling niggas, I got a real life, man. Like if I'm able to get clear to go to Canada, my nigga, I'm going through a case, my nigga. No, the dude on the on the other the the last caller asked you about what the two callers go ask you what league would you like to battle in and who would you like to battle. That's the reason why I'm even bringing I know, that up. But, that's hypothetical. Hey. but that question was hypothetically okay. speaking. Gotcha. If okay. I was able to go over there, you know what I'm saying? I didn't. So that's, I wasn't what, I'm that's what I'm saying hypothetically because you saying it like you don't even care really for the battle. But if in the event that it was able to happen, I'm saying, would you be interested in doing it there? I'm, everything we talk about is hypothetical. I'm quite sure you heard what I said. I said I don't care who it is. I love the King of the Dot crowd. I don't care who it is. I wasn't uh, daylight. With, I don't wake up with daylight on my mind, my nigga. I don't. I wasn't thinking about daylight when I answered that question. If he was the, <laughs> the nigga that got pulled out, if he was the nigga that name that got pulled out the hat, then he would be the nigga that's getting killed. All right. At the well, king I don't, of know, like, I don't know. I don't know daylight personally. I'm only asking because you on the. I happen to be on the line at the same time I've seen it. Hold on, hold on. Said, wow. Did we have daylight calling in or no? Well, nobody gave me the area. I don't know. Nobody's giving the area code yet.
Jesse, that's your boy. Damn. What's area code? Shouldn't it be a county area code? Yeah, I would imagine. Yo, Jess, text him back. He's texting he he you on Twitter. Hit him back and, and, and respond to him. What's the area code? 213 or um, 408 or... Um, Is he on the line or no? I don't know the I don't area know. code, Jesse. Which part you ain't understanding? <laughs> What's the area code? He's asking, I'm saying, Jess, he's re he's reaching out to you. You got to hit him on Twitter and ask him what's his area code. 303? It is. Mm -hmm. Let's go. Let's just take this. He said it's 818. 818-799. Yeah. 818-799. Yeah. 818 Daylight's 818. Daylight, Jesse, you late. Daylight. Yo. Yo. Yo, yo. Yo. Daylight, yeah, we hear you. Oh, y'all hear me? First of all, Cal, I end your fucking career, nigga. Shut up. Wow. Let's get that out the way. All right. Um, let's make this happen right now. It, it ain't no nothing to wait about it. Let's make it happen right now. Like, within the next two weeks. You really want to fuck your life up, huh? Kyle, wow. don't say that. Don't say that. Don't say that. Bro, that's be, don't that's you know be technical. That, bro, don't you know after Lux I'm in a bad mood, my nigga? I don't give a fuck if you in a bad mood, nigga. After I slap my bitch, she in a bad mood. And what can she do about it? Nothing but be in a bad mood. <laughs> Hey, you remind me of me when I was coming up, man. I swear I, you do. I understand, and you remind me of me when I was whack. Cal, oh. <laughs> I'm a little stupid, Cal. <laughs> I'm, I'm a little stupid, Cal. <laughs> no, don't try to play me like I'm just no real nigga, Cal. I remind, nigga, I'm all, don't play, don't do that, Cal. Don't do not do that, man. Don't do that. Don't do that. Please don't do that. We ain't got all night. We ain't got all night for that, man. Bro, you we are all night. Fun, nigga, bro. I'm going to have fun killing you, my nigga. You I don't feel you. I feel you. I heard that before. Look, I killed you. I heard that before. That's me. <laughs> You the nigga that you one of the niggas that you are funny to me, my nigga. I'm gonna be laughing while I, while you rapping, but I know. I'm going, like, real rap is gonna kill the metaphors every time, my nigga. You gotta get some real I'm rap. Not, my I nigga. have no, I have no plans on punchlining with you. None, none. Make sure you bring the ski mask, man. I'm not gonna bring no ski mask. I'm battling you ass naked with my shotgun. I won. Oh. Pause. I'm, I'm out, Jesse. I'm out. I'm out, bro. <laughs> Cal, I may be the most dangerous nigga alive right now. I am that unexpected. Cal, I'm telling you, Cal, listen to me, boy. Boy, listen to me. I refuse to battle niggas talking that shit because I live a real life. Niggas may think I'm joke. I got a tattoo on my face. My brother has nine tattoos of people on his face. Listen to me, boy. We ain't got all night. I think I'll go hung up. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> we got all night. Huh? Did the nigga really hang up? Yeah, yeah, I think he's gone. No, nah, come on now. C come on now. Say it ain't so. <laughs> Say it ain't so. Say it's yeah. not so. Oh, my oh God. God. <laughs> Damn. Did I get on here and fuck up this nigga's show? <laughs> no, no, no. We was actually about to close it out before all this happened. Oh, um, damn. Well, there you have it. So I guess we got all night. Somebody decided to call in the show. They like, like, did you hear oh, about Oh, no. It? So you know how shit happened, man. Did uh, Calico just hang up? Yo, Calico. Damn, Jesse, you are slow today, boy. Yo, Yo I'm sitting slow. here minding my own business. I'm watching Django. My phone ring out the blue. They like, Calico, go on in there. You all heard. What? Why the fuck is my name brought up anyway? What? 
Okay. I'm calling in. That's it. Actually, actually a Yo, Daylight, like, you just got somebody mad at me, man. No, I didn't like Yo. that. Yo, you right. You right. You got one of those situations. You good. Yo, why this nigga... Oh, my God. Niggas, listen to me, y'all. And this goes for everybody that's listening right now. Only thing that's separating me from any one of these dumbass niggas is me not battling on URL. All of these niggas is little niggas to me. Wh whoever you want to name, these niggas are new little niggas to me. Yo, Psycho, do, you, do you still have a couple calls online? Um... Yeah, yeah, we we run a little over. Let's take them for daylight. Welcome to the daylight show. I'll take over from here. <laughs> Call us, please. Three four seven. You there? I guess all the calico lovers hung up with calico. Huh. <laughs> nah, nine five four. You there? Hey nine, yo five, yo four. daylight. Yo. Yo, yo, Daylight, what up, man? I saw you on that battle with Rich Dollars, yo. Yo, good looking out, fam. Yo, man, how you feel about, like, you know, that steam ass shit? That nigga was looking shook. Uh, I, I, I kind of put myself in Rich Dollars' situation, and I told myself, what if I was in New York and Rich Dollars put on a ski mask on me? How would I have felt? It was two options in that situation. I'm about to get fucked up, so I might as well swing now. So I probably would have just swung, because I didn't know what was going to happen after that. So I don't know. But, you know, hey, Rich, you know, he says there took it like a good sport, man, but hey, shit happens. All right, man, that's what's up, man. What's your next look? Unless like you're trying to take down Calico. No, I got I got Big K. I got Big K and May, right? Right, Norris? Oh, Big K and May? Yeah, I got oh, Big man, K me. Yo, kill that nigga, son. Nah, nah, Big K my nigga, man. We we actually go way, 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 way back. So this is gonna be one for the people, man. This is just gonna be right, really, really up, one man. for Good the people look, to man. watch. Shout out for y'all, Battle Referee, for taking my call, man. You already know. Yes, sir. <laughs> All right, let's try one more. Uh, Seven one eight, you there? Seven one eight. Yeah, we, we gotta get ready to close this out. Um, Daylight, right, you got man. something? You got something you want to um, promote or whatever? Like oh, uh, coming I, up? I, I know you got promote, new videos uh, coming up. <laughs> before I go, you know, I mean, everybody check out that smoke my weed out my bitch foot. That that joint going on MTV <laughs> in a couple more weeks. You know, is doing numbers right now. Big ups to the to the to all the battle rap groups from the 750 to the the unbiased to the debate team to the, the battle rap except big ups to all the groups because they the yeah, motherfuckers who let me know what's hold going on. on. Uh, hold on. The show like actually literally just changed right now. Are you deep to take a couple like two more calls? No, Jesse. We got to end the show, Jesse. <laughs> we can we end it. It's cool. We run it, we run it late, Jesse. It's, it's 12 away. Uh, <laughs> all right. We can end it. You can end it. So see y'all next time. Stay yeah, we gonna get you. We gonna get you on though. Get your own show though. Um, bam, bam, you know, bam. All right, y'all. <laughs> <laughs> All right, daylight. All right, URL's Battle Rap Arena. Check us out Thursday, 10 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Thanks again to Calico and Daylight for crashing the show. <laughs> we out. Smash! Smash!